Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. So, uh, how's it going everyone? Hope you're doing good. Uh, excuse me while I just do some stuff. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's set up all nice and straight, and... Yeah. There we go. That's better. Okay, so I figured I would uh, get into the game, let this nice calm music be uh, on the start screen uh, with Lise. So, focusing on this screen, you might notice something. If you look down to the bottom right, you'll see Mira at 98,000. Almost 99,000. I put out a tweet early this week stating that I had grinded money by selling potato salad, and that's what I did. Um... I also bought some stuff, like red hair dye for Reem, and other things, uh, such as uh, 99 battle scopes, <laughs> and uh, some smoke grenades and canned coffee. I also bought uh, white and black kitty ears. Um, I bought a couple gifts that were available in some shops. Uh, I caught some fish. And I bought a couple fishing rods. Well, one was gifted to me because I caught fish, and the other I bought. I bought the other Shining Palm Droplet. And uh, I came in here instead of being with Altina because I saw this, this guy. But before I do that, I want to essentially show what I did to grind. So... Um, well, actually, it would probably be easier if I just do this. Noise you on. Okay, so you come in here, talk to this old guy. Hit shop, and you come down here, buy 99 mature cheese, 99 flaky potatoes, 99 coarse rock salt. And you can only do this once you have approximately like 42,000, um, uh, 42,000, uh, Mira, in terms of buying all 99. After that, you exit there, you come over here, and just make 99 Let's do this. potato salads by Reem. Um, All right. Thanks for waiting. Because he's able to make the regular and the slightly better than regular. He can't make the best one, but he can make pretty, pretty good ones. So, now you shop, and you sell, and you come down here, and you sell that, and you sell that. So now you see where I was at 92 or 98 or wherever, I am now at 100,000. So essentially this method nets you approximately two to 3,000 gold every cycle you do when you're selling 99. And it varies slightly based on the amount of results you get in terms of the potato salad. Um, if you get the best potato salad, you get more money. If you don't, then you get less, but you're always at least breaking, well, you're, not, you're always making slightly more because the food always sells for more than its ingredients do. So let's talk to you. I thought the people who work on radio shows would be cooler, you know? Like, they all seem like cool people on the air, which is why I decided to work here. They only made me do random busy work. And they pair me up with that weirdo, Monk. <sighs> it's so boring. Who wants to bet that she ends up with Monk? Oh yeah, and I put on, uh, I put on the red hair dye because I'm like, hey, he looks like Adol from, uh, East. Um, in terms of this stuff, I bought the orange cape for strength and prevent fate. Uh, nothing else for anyone else. Um, orb mints. I think I... Yeah, I bought... I bought Impede 1 for Reen because, of course, you gotta, you gotta build Impede Reen. Um, and then you got Bridget and all these, uh, jazz attacks. Um... Yeah, so I'm not going to switch any of these out because it would be pointless, but let's do this. How's it going, Monk? <clears throat> Oreen, is that million you've got there with you? <laughs> it's been quite a while, hasn't it? <laughs> About a year or so, yeah. You look better than ever, Monk. You even seem a bit happier. <laughs> well, I have been getting out more since I started working here. Anyhow, Oreen, you seem to be getting around a lot, just like when you were a student. Are you planning on taking your class anywhere outside leaves? <laughs> well, actually... Reen told Monk about the field exercises. So now the entire branch campus is doing what only you guys in Class 7 used to do. I'm looking forward to all the good stories I'll be able to tell on the radio. 
<laughs> That's right. You always referenced our exploits in the old Class 7 in your radio material. <laughs> yeah, though I'd always add my own little twist to all your little escapades. But I'm bummed that I can't really interview the students. Unless a certain someone would be willing to provide me with a story. Are you trying to say that you want to ask Green? <laughs> I guess you could say that. I know you're going to be working, so I shouldn't be asking you this, but... If you could give me some good material to work with, my job would be a lot easier. Can you help me spice things up at Radio Trista? In that case, sure. Should I contact you through the Arcus when I have new material? Yeah, that would be great. Thanks, Reen. Ah, uh, nothing like having friends to help you out. <laughs> you got pretty good at negotiating. Haha, <laughs> seriously. Ha <laughs> ha! So what do I... Monk. All right, Reen, can't wait to see your new material. So nice to have friends. Actually, got two more. Got more two meetings. I've actually got more two meetings today. So that's supposed to be two more. Found a typo. So I'm really glad I was able to squeeze you in. Sounds like they're keeping you busy. Take it these meetings have to do with the content of your show. That's right. Today we'll be finalizing the script and figuring out casting. I was actually appointed di director of a short drama series. Wow, director, huh? Haha, <laughs> that's pretty amazing, Monk. You've only just joined the team, and they're already giving you a huge job. Way to go, radio nerd. <laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. It's just a little thing, and they're broadcasting it in the early morning. But I think that makes doing it right so much more important. It may start small, but if it's good, I'll have more and more people tuning in. <laughs> just the thought of it gets me all tingly. Well, you at least have one listener. Me. Make that too. We're rooting for you, Monk. Good luck. Thanks, both of you. Aw, oh, nice. Okay. So with that, um, I now have, yeah, just Altina now. Uh, boo -boo. Hello, Altina. How do you do? Oh, eating your pancakes. What are you doing here, Altina? I am recovering my energy by supplementing my sugar intake. Today was fairly tiring. Oh, I heard you picked a club. So you're in the swimming club with Lenora, huh? Hope you have a good time. Although I guess it won't be official till the school approves it. I'm just glad you were able to make a decision. Oh, you're gonna be in a club? Okay, I'll cheer you on too. I will try to persevere for as long as I can. How was your brief? That voice. Hi, Tilly! How have you been? Fuck. <laughs> what is she doing here? <laughs> She's here on business. I was giving her a tour around the city. <laughs> Long time no see, Tilly. Last time I saw you was that joint mission last year. How's Sammy doing? Yes, it has been a while. And can you stop calling me Tilly? But, but, your name's kind of hard to say, you know? You can call us Millie and Lammy. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> and I never accepted your name for Clom Soleus. <laughs> but it's easier to remember. Haha, <laughs> Milliam seems happy. I heard they did some missions together last year. Hello, this is Reet. You don't need to tell me your name. I know who I called. <laughs> um, is this Professor Schmidt? <laughs> Douchebag extraordinaire. Now that the briefings are over, you must have some free time. Prepare yourself and come to Einhell Keep. Einhell Keep? From our orienteering exercise? I'm sorry, but I'm giving an acquaintance a tour right now. The child from the intelligence agency? Perfect timing. Come here the moment you're ready. Don't keep me waiting. Fucking douchebag. <laughs> I'll keep you waiting for 500 years. He he hung up. <laughs> He's demanding as always. What's up, Reen? That call. I don't really know, but... Reen told Milliam about Schmidt's call. <laughs> oh, that place sounds fun. So, should we get going? Are you serious? Are you sure, Milliam? What about the tour? <laughs> That's fine. I got to see Tilly. And I want to see old man Schmidt, too. Well, he did make it seem like it's important. Alright, and once we're ready... I will accompany you. Huh? He said, the child from the intelligence agency. That could refer to me, too. And besides, he didn't specify the number of people. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go, let's go! Let's do it! Millie and Tilly, Lammy and Sammy, we're the ultimate quartet. Please don't affiliate me with you. <sighs> now, now, you two. Once I'm ready to go to the keep, I'll come talk to you. You still got to have some pancakes to work through, so take your time. Understood. I shall proceed to stand by. 
Join Altina and head to the keep to advance to the main story. Please note that once you do, any bonding events, quests, and sub-events for the current day will disappear. Well, I don't have any, uh, any events that I can really do. So, uh, let's just come over here. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's in the All right, got it. <laughs> All right, got it. No color, but... No costumes. I'll put some white kitty ears on you. I like your hat, but it makes sense that they take it off for this. There we go. Yep. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, just gonna screenshot that. Okay, okay. You want to share to... Yeah, no. Okay. Yep. You can see her legs going through the chair and into the floor. So, uh, you know, that's perfect. <laughs> I will wait here. Please don't check me when you're hanging out in the keep. I should be thoroughly prepared. Is there anything I forgot to do? John Tina, head to the keep to advance the main story. Please don't... Yep. Head to the keep with Altina. Understood. I shall clean up these pancakes post haste. <laughs> Why don't I help you? I can handle this myself. Boo, you're so stingy, Tilly. <laughs> Altina, you don't need to hurry, okay? <laughs> Fuck off. These are my pancakes. I paid for them with my hard-earned cash. After that, Altina unwillingly shared her pancakes with Milliam. Then the three of them headed for the keep. Yup. Hello, Instructor Green. Hello there, Tita. Sorry I'm a bit late. Hey, Grandpa Schmidt, it's been a while. How you been? As always, you are an insufferable little child. And stop calling me Grandpa. <laughs> I see the Black Rabbit is with you as well. Yes, is there a problem? No, it should not impact the results of the test significantly. If anything, we can raise the level now. Let's get right to the reason you called us. Seeing that Tita's here, I can hazard a guess. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's probably exactly what you think. Let's cut to the chase then. Follow me. Oh, so this is what it's like inside. I've already been here during the entrance exam. Oh, so they made you do this, huh? So you wanted to continue with the trials? Is that what you're hinting at? Precisely. Earlier this month, you experienced level zero. Today, you will be entering level one. This trial is calibrated to more closely match the rigors of actual combat. If you enter thinking it will be easy as last time, you will leave this place as a dead man. Hmm. Last time I had a magic knight. That was the easy one? Oh, sounds like a blast. Hold on a second. Don't you think you're going a bit too far with this? Participation in these trials is not mandatory. However, one of the conditions for my working here was that the Ashen Chevalier would participate in my experiments. So if you choose not to participate, there is no further reason for me to remain at the school. Ugh. <laughs> That's super selfish, you old fucking coot. B but Professor, we still have Panzer Soldat training. If you leave, <laughs> not my problem. I know about the special lessons. Would it not be beneficial to practice the Argus II's new function here and now? Earth. Hmm. hmm? He's got a point. It's probably better to be prepared, you know. Don't worry, Reen. We'll be fine. After all, you got me with you. Isn't that right, Tilly? No idea. However, there is no reason for me not to participate, so I shall. My role is to support Instructor Reen. Million. Altina. Okay, we'll do your trial. Please lend me both of your strength. You betcha. Understood. <laughs> what a waste of time. I'll go prepare the trial now. There's an elevator in the back. Use it to reach the starting point. If you need anything on your Arcus 2 suggested, please let me know before you go. Hi ho, laddie. Modify. Oh, God, yeah. Can be opened. Already open. Can be. Yeah, so. Don't have nearly enough, and obviously I'm not going to be using Sabbath on these individuals, because why the hell would I? Thanks. 
Okay, so let's go to the ordnance. So you're full, you're full, and you're basically full. Yeah, gonna have to open you guys, but uh, it's good. Actually, I'll talk to Schmidt to make sure. We've wasted enough time, quite enough time on our chatter. Just has to wait to go use the elevator in the back. You fucking piece of shit. Oh my god, it's a control room. Beep boop beep beep beep. Beep boop 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 beep beep boop boop. Is it just me or does the red exclamation point by ride the elevator seem a bit, um, a bit low poly? Beep boop boop. Beep boop boop. Looks like that control panel operates the elevator. Brings me back to the time we spent fighting our way through the old schoolhouse. <laughs> I'm happy to get to do this kind of thing with you again, Reen. Happy. <laughs> I guess that's one way to look at it. Alright, let's get ready and then move out. Woohoo! Understood. <laughs> woo! <laughs> Shoop to woo! Boom, boom, boom. Start level one. Burr, burr, burr. Pew. Positively red, kind of. Whoa, so this is what it looks like inside. We went up. Yeah, we started underground last time. And this time I only have three people in my squad. I now keep level one. Ooh, ladder. Seems like the entire internal structure is completely different now. I remember hearing that there were mechanisms to chain things around in here, but I didn't expect it to be this drastically different. Wow, Grandpa Schmidt's pretty badass. I'm super psyched to check this place out. As in the previous trial, your goal will be to reach the farthest point. Use of the Divine Knight is still prohibited. I, rec I recommend you don't let your guard down. I'll do my best to help you navigate again. Good luck to all of you. Got it. Milium, Altina, get ready. Lammy. Clom Soleus. Wub 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 wub. Ergetlum, Clom Soleus, good to have both of you with us. Let's go. Our exploration of Einhell Keep level one starts now. Tally ho! Let's get at it. Let's finish as swiftly as possible. Yeah, let's do it, boy. By the way, Tilly, are you able to use orders? I know how to use them, but have not yet tried. Since this is a good opportunity, perhaps I will test the function now. <laughs> In that case, maybe I'll let loose with mine, too. Altina's order, Ebon Crest, is now available. Milliam's order, White Decoration, is now available. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> looks like they're both fired up. Can't let myself get left behind. The Eight Leaves, One Blade, Second Form Gale. It's been a while, but maybe I'll dust it off now. Yeah, Gale. Great. Let's get to exploring. Let's get to exploring, fellas. Sit, sit. Huh. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, it has been a bit. Uh, craft. Slice enemies up at high speed. Second form, Gale! Now! An opening! There we go. I'm up! Look at your crafts. Ultimate barrier, yep. Valiant Cannon, Megaton Press Sledge Impact, all that good shit. Tire Breaker. Uh, okay. Uh, let's instead use this. Because these guys are going to die, so yeah. might as well figure out what they're all, uh, all on about. Okay. Squishy Soft Body Monster that prefers dark places. Its body creates orbital energy and unleashes wind elemental arts. Now. Okay, and it's Zero Art's turn, so, so blur, yeah, might as well. Uh. 8.47, nice. My turn. That's her turn again, so let's just, uh, yeah. whack. Target's eliminated, move out. Nice. Ah, and 
things we need. Big chunguses to break. A cracked stone pillar. Please leave this, leave this to Clomsilaeus. I'm sure it can easily destroy this obstacle. <laughs> Don't forget about Lammy, too. Certain objects on the field, such as cracked bows, can be destroyed by a field attack from a character whose weapon strike rating is A or higher. Here I go! Ha! <laughs> now. Can't stop me! Yeah. <laughs> Glad I have you here. Take them down! Yo. Uh, craft, Gale. Second form, Gale! Uh, missed the flight. Now. Missed the flyer. An opening. This is the end. There we go. Here I go. Uh, ultimate or er, valiant cannon. Let's do that. Get lasered. Now. Okay. Arts. Begin retreat. Okay. Oh, and if you flee, it just asks you if you want to use a smoke grenade. That's nice. Uh, oh, and she has uh, analysis. Reenact gaze. Reenact, activate, fire. Okay, there we go. Not on my watch! Not on my watch, Buster. Yeah. Okay, let's come around this way. Yeah. Oh boy, it's a treasure chest. Airstrike R. There. Up the ladder, like a cat. Okay. It's my turn. Sit. Take them down. Okay. Huh. Now. Okay, delay. Uh, you know what? I'll queue up an art. Charging. It's my turn. Huh. There we go. Just delay that shit. Brock. <laughs> yeah. I shall go. It's my turn. Huh. Everyone okay? There we go. I shall go. And then they got that. So I'll just use a battle scope on this fella. <laughs> Bro, just turtle monster with a massive power for bite. Even distant enemies cannot escape when bitten. Nah. That's fine. Yeah. You're a weak bitch. Ha! There we go. Do, 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 do. Treasure located. Silver earring. Okay. Ha! Ha! Take them down. Okay. Get back. My turn. 
It's my turn. Huh. It's down. Yeah, there An we opening. go. Boink. My turn. Yeah. Battle complete. Let's continue. It just feels good to fight in this game. Now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So I was actually going in the uh, right direction, basically. Which makes sense. Had to go up a ladder. Everyone ready? Okay, that's a bit. That's a bit of people. Raging well, 16 damage, CP plus 10, 8 turns, 50% damage reduction, restores about 4 turns, absolute reflect. 8 turns, damage reduction. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's do that after. Terror breaker happens. Change. Here it comes. Yeah. Terror breaker. <laughs> God damn. Someone leveled. Yes, Altina leveled. Stats updated. Stats updated. Do, do. <laughs> I like how she's literally just hitting a ball with a freaking hammer. Phew, this is pretty tough. Are you two doing all right? Yes, I have no particular problems. Yep, I'm in tip top shape too. You until you're here, so I'm having loads of fun. Fun. I <laughs> guess it's all thanks to Grandpa Schmidt, huh? Uh, well, I don't know if I'd say it quite like that. V2 being here is a big help. To be honest, I'm surprised you two are so in sync during battle. Well, we are pretty much sisters. Actually, it makes sense that we are able to synchronize so well. After all, our model numbers are only one digit off from each other. Model numbers? Black Rabbit, Altina. Model name OZ74. Commencing operation. Whoa! Crazy! Yours is just one off mine! I like how they redubbed this. Let's do this, Lammy. They re they redubbed it instead of using the previous William, games Altina? stuff because they would have that would have caused problems. I've known you two for a while now, and I think I was always aware of it to some extent. Huh? Instructor Ring. I know both of you came from the mysterious black workshop. Then, your memories of your time there were erased, and you were handed over to the Intelligence Division. I also know you somehow have the ability to synchronize with a combat shell. <laughs> and that we're technically not human? What? <sighs> Although he did not outright state it, he alluded to it multiple times. Indeed, we are homunculi. Artificially created beings. Okay. But it biologically just... speaking, we're pretty much the same as normal humans, you know? Hmm. But then, that doesn't explain why I haven't grown at all lately. Agreed. However, I believe I still have the potential to grow taller. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'm not gonna lose to you, Pipsqueak. <laughs> I hope I'm able to I've get bigger. I've been back of my mind for a while. And I've heard things here and there from each of them. Black Workshop, the group that betrayed the society and was taken in by him at the end of the Civil War. I tried to investigate it during all the missions the government had me go on, but I always came up empty-handed. These two have had their memories of their time there erased, and even Major Lecter doesn't know anything about it. Okay. Why in the world did they create Milliam and Altina? Hello, Milliam Doreen. Come in, Doreen. Come on, what are you zoning out for? Are you feeling unwell? If so, we should take a short break. Oh, don't worry, I'm fine. Milliam, Altina, no matter what else happens, you're both still you. Hmm? <laughs> well, yeah, duh. <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> I, I didn't say anything you need to thank me for. Yeah. If we loiter here too much longer, it will affect the test results. 
If there are no problems, let us continue onward. Yeah, you're right. Alrighty then. Let's go, go, go! Okay, I am going All right, to... Alright, got it! Fucking cut it. Let's... Alright, got it! <laughs> Alright, got it. I want her hat back. That's that's the only reason I want the hat. Let's go! Okay, I'm gonna head back... Gonna head back to the ladder, cause wanna don't wanna leave anything unexplored, so <laughs> gotcha. Okay, let's do this. Scale. Now an opening now. Okay, Silverthorn. Charging. Do that. Crafts. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Oh darn! I was hoping that that would uh, do enough. <laughs> Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Ah oh, darn it. Healed himself. Get back. I shall go. Get lasered. There we go. It's my turn. Sit. Everyone okay? God, poisoning something to mess around with. Um, okay. So I guess up is the only way to go. So I'm gonna head back here, heal up, and then go back up the ladder. Deja vu, ba da 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 ba Turn. Ah! Missed. Here I go. That far away. GG, bud. Get lasered. Got it. An opening. This will end it. God, I love finishing blow. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. zero damage, bitch. Huh. My turn. Yeah. Battle complete. Let's continue. Okay. I should honestly probably. Yeah. Um, My turn. Yeah. There we go. It has a wider sweep. I should probably uh, switch. Um, yellow hair million. Okay. Well, gotta put that on. All right. Last got it. Million. God turns her freaking into uses his little sister. All right. Got it. Got it. Um, ordnance, quartz, silver thorn. I could put airstrike. Uh, give her more ATS and ADF. 
power B, power B, but it's a one versus a small area. Um, De Las. Er, give him HP two. Give him a lot more HP. Um, Cures KO. No, I'll just have to unlock. I'm up. There. Uh, okay. gotcha. That's how we do it. Okay. I was I, I couldn't remember how to do like the super the super um attack. I'm up. Craft. Actually, uh, just regular attack. My turn. She can do the craft. Brionite, activate fire. Let's go. Sit. There we go. Here I go. Okay. Yeah. My turn. Let's go. Yeah, just take him out. I'm up. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, zero order. Fucking uh, mine as well. Let's go. Raging fire formation. It's my turn. Good mess, Serene. Good My mess. There. Good mess. Let's go. Sit. There we go. I'm up. There we go. I shall go. And that's how we do it. Targets eliminated. Move out. Oh yeah. Forgot. Um, tactics, want to link them together so they can work up, because she's not going to be in our party for long amounts of time. Oh, hello there! delayed some of them, so I don't have to worry about them all that much. And I got my damage Yay! reduction going. So... Get They're I taken out. And then I can... You don't like fire, but I don't have any fire, so I'll just set Charging. up... I'll just set up Soul Blair. Gawk him. Yeah! There we go. And it gave you nightmare. Let's go. Nice. All right. Nice work. Perfect. Le perfect. Yeah. Anything that can flick nightmare is really good. All right. We made it through. Phew. You okay, Tilly? If you're tired, just let your big sis know. I'll give you a piggyback ride, even though you were, like, stronger than us during the Civil War. By yourself. And some robots. No, thank you. Can you please stop treating me as your little sister? But you are my little sister, aren't you? My model number is OZ73, and you're OZ74, right? That is why. Since I am a newer model, my specs are superior. You should treat me with more respect. Oh, no, you didn't. Out of curiosity, 
the OZ in your model numbers. I don't suppose you know what it means, do you? Hmm, nope, sorry, it's just a number we remembered when we were shipped off. When your dad found you, you only remembered your name, right? It's kind of like that. Yeah, true. All I could remember was my name. I also remember being able to speak normally, and I had all the knowledge an average five-year-old would. But no matter how hard I try, I can't remember anything before that. <laughs> I guess I'm no different from you two after all. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Now that I think about it, I too had basic knowledge when I first awoke under Lord Rufus two years ago. I was briefed on the situation about the various powers at work and then under and then went undercover assisting the Noble Alliance. I see. How about you, Milliam? Oh, when I woke up five years ago, Gramps, Claire, and Lecter were all there. How does it feel to be awake, Milliam O'Ryan? I welcome you as the newest member of the Ironbloods. Your first task will be to learn from the others. But I didn't go on a mission right away like Tilly did. I studied for a while first. So I guess Claire and Lecter were kind of like my tutors? I see. Since she's an Ironblood, I suppose her situation would be pretty different from Altina's. Scarecrow is one thing, but how did you turn out with such a personality studying under the Icy Maiden? Hmm, I don't think my personality really changed much at all since I woke up. But Claire and Lecter told, tell me I've changed a bit recently. I see. Um, is everyone alright? You didn't get hurt, did you? Oh, sorry. No, we were just talking. Hmm, stop stopping to chat during a trial. You're certainly relaxed now, aren't you? If you had enough break, then get moving. <laughs> Whoopsie, we got in trouble. Sheesh, alright, let's keep going. We've come pretty far, but don't let your guard down, you two. Roger, Dodger. Understood. Roger, Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Although my basic specs are more up to date, it seems there's a difference in experience between us. However, I cannot allow myself to lag behind her in battle. I believe I should test the craft with some clomsole as soon. The S craft? Turn around. Turn around. There we go. Tag you in the butt. And then leave it at that. Crimson Slash! Crimson Slash. Zero order. Gotta do it then. Uh, I'd say for that. Might as well. Yeah, have fun trying to damage me now, fuckers. Yeah. My turn. Okay, soul blur. <laughs> yep. It's my turn. Yeah. It's down. I'll assist. Yep. And then crit turn. Yeah. Soul Blur on Big Turtle. Poifect, and he's nightmared. He ain't doing crap for a little bit. My turn. Let's come over here. Let's no. Destroy this guy. Here I go. Ha! Punch. It's my turn. BT delay and critical. Ha! Does Nightmare yeah. not do damage in this game? Or in this yeah. in this one? Maybe they nerf Nightmare a little Let's bit. Continue. Oh boy, it's a treasure chest! Oh boy! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! My turn. I'm up! Yeah. I'm up! Okay, turn off high speed mode, come over here, undo some locked doors. Locked door skin was showing. Hot night You're wind almost was... there, everyone. Here I go. Oh, you huh? need to stay What's out. wrong, Professor? Come on, it's battling Damn it. time! <laughs> <laughs> I'm up! Zero arts. Let's Yeah. Six oh nine. Howl. 
Damn it. Here I go. Piece of garbage. Let's do this. Iron will formation. Here I go. Crafts. Valiant cannon. Do that. I'm up. You can Arcus, activate. yourself. I shall go. Then crafts, Brianak. Brianak, activate. Fire. Now. Do that. An opening. Slash. Delay him yeah. slightly. Just delay him to the end of <laughs> the three guys going to attack anyway. It's my turn. Zero arts, fireball. Ha! One. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I shall go. Arts. Arcus activate. It's my turn. Arts Arcus that. activate. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. It's my turn. Arts. Form up. Iron will formation. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> um, let's heal <sighs> Tina. Yeah. Thank you. Take Let's go. You out, fireball. Yeah. Let's go. Sit. All right. Nice work. All right. Got it. Could have gone better if my triple attack worked, but or my triple my advantage turn. worked. But, yeah. Oh well. Let's go. Okay. So let's head back to the start. Heal up, and then yeah. advance. Yeah. Because low on health used some EP, so it's useful. Uh, I forget if those things restore CP. I don't think they do in this game. The depths. Okay. If you have strange energy coming from this device, you should. It's a special type of orb and charge station that also requires to restore CP, presumably. That'll come in handy. Uh, here you can restore HP and EP, enhance your weapons, create enhanced cores, a super special orb and charging station in some places, which offer various shop functions on top of everything else. Okay. I thought it would restore CP, but it does not. Okay, modify orbit slots. Uh, still can't... God damn. These things are... Locked. <laughs> these things are locked behind paywalls. It's bullshit. <laughs> Old class seven or new one. Ooh, intelligence division. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, might as well come over here. Still don't like the system. I wish there's just exchange set with mass button. It seems it it seems rather dumb for it to not exist. Um Yeah, and I can't open any of you. Synthesize weapons, rare quartz. And I can't really do much here yet, because I don't have any of the necessary quartz itself. And it's just weapons and leather guards and other jazz. So, oh well. But I should probably save, as it's been an amount of time, um, that one, 1027. See, I really do not like the save system for PlayStation. It's just, it's annoying. Basically, like, all it does is, it, it's just, um, 
it just encourages you to only do new saves because it's just annoying figuring out which save is most recent and which isn't. Okay. So let's... Let's just come on in here. How do you do? A dead end? I guess this is the end of the trial. Woo! We made it! It was pretty fun, but I expected something from Old Man Schmidt to have a little more kick to it, you know? A little bit more spice! Wait! Fall back, you two! Hello, Tyrant Beast Zuo. This is cool. I like this. Whoa, what the heck is that? I knew it. P Professor, what are you doing? That monster isn't meant for level one. <laughs> I'm simply giving them the kick they asked for. The rabbit should be able to handle an enemy of this caliber. Tch, I swear. It's comparable in strength to the Magic Knight from before. This might be a good target to try it out on. We just gotta take it head on, right, Reen? My thoughts exactly. Don't hold anything back, either of you. Look strong. I'm itching to go. Altina can now use the S-Craft Arcadius gear. Ah! Oof. It's my turn. That, that was a big chungus move. Um actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Craft. Well, I'm gonna do order. This Let's one, go. right Raging now. Fire Do that, get it's more damage. Turn. Then I'm going to attack. Actually, no, I'm going to use a battle scope. Yeah. And then just do that. Because I'm curious. Uh, Rontes, Needle Shoot SR, that would be nice to get. The hideous result of long-term crossbreeding between monsters. It possesses an instinctive rage. Uh, don't try and put any status effects on it, it won't work. You should use wind attacks and fire. Okay. And we can do this. My blade. No! Ah! Ah! Seventh slash! Fallen leaves! Boink. Okay. And then you want to do this. Because the thing is, until I get, like, domination and stuff, it doesn't really matter if I do the pre-attack and then cut in. So I might as well take the small amount of extra damage and not do the S-Craft on my turn. Especially given that I have the uh, damage plus 20%. Um, yeah. And then, here we go. Now, transform. Arcadius gear. Sync complete. Go, Arcadius gear. Dude, it's right out of freaking uh, Hyperdimension Neptunia. <laughs> Brianna, open fire. Exterminating target. Huh? Bam. There we go. Target's eliminated. Didn't even Move get to on. attack a second time. Okay. So I do like how Reen is a higher level than all like the student characters. Just on like a base idea of Yeah, he's he's the teacher. He should be stronger. It shouldn't be even. <laughs> he shouldn't be like two or three levels higher. Until they can kinda catch up. Enemy subdued. Woohoo, we clobbered it good. Man, Tilly, that was amazing. Yeah, those are totally different crafts than you were using last year. Well, I am the latest model, after all. It simply took me some time to fully apply my higher specs in battle. Haha, <laughs> that's so, huh? Well, either way, you did great. Milliam, Aragatlum, Clomsleus, good job to you too. Heh, <laughs> no problem, Beanerino. Zarbadurm. Zarbadurm. Whew, seems like you're all okay. The data was good, I suppose. That's it for today's test. I'll be at the entrance. Don't make me wait. Oh, Professor, um, please be careful on your way back, everyone. That man. I'm starting to get tired. We should follow his instructions and go back. Yeah, might as well. Hop on, I'll give you a piggyback ride on our way back. I'd rather you didn't. 
I'd rather you fuck off, kindly, Milliam. Uh, so this room, any chests in it? You gotta make sure, because I don't have the uh, courts to tell me if there is indeed a chest or not. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to get him to level, basically. Stats updated. Also, because there's no real reason as to why I shouldn't be fighting these guys anyway. Here I go. Ha! I'm ready to go. Break! <laughs> gotcha. There we go. BP up one. You tell me that. Guess what? Let's go. Damage Raging increase. Gotta do that. No, oh, you can just straight up rescind Super orders. My turn. Uh. Here I go. There. There we go. <laughs> we won. Yeah. Okay. And they're like leveled up, so that was good. Level two, auto charge and cover. What is auto charge? Uh, sometimes it stores a hundred of partners' EP after they use arts. Activation chance increases as link level does. That's pretty good. That, honestly, that's not, a. that, that's not very, that's not bad. Okay, and I want to come and make sure I took all the chests. Okay... My turn. Professor Schmidt and Tia should be weighing at the entrance. Aw, oh, man, I can't believe it's already over. If we haven't forgotten to do anything, then let's head out now. made it back. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Are you all okay? Yeah, we're just fine. All thanks to Altina and Milliam. I couldn't have done it without you two. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I had fun down there. With our state-of-the-art combat shells, this result was inevitable. Phew, that's a relief. Hmm, combat shells. I remember seeing one last time, but... Um, if you don't mind, could I take a look at it? Yeah, sure thing. Lammy! <laughs> Lammy! Hmm... As usual. Wow, it's so cool. So this is what it's like up close. The closer inspection has an interesting texture. Almost like ceramic. But I don't see any sort of signal receiver. How do you control it? <laughs> no clue. I just kind of do. Well, she's pretty enthusiastic. <laughs> she is, without a doubt, a Russell. So it appears the trial proved beneficial for you. It did, thank you. Would it be alright if I brought the students with me next time? As long as I can perform my trials, I don't care who you bring. But given the nature of these special lessons, will there be a next time? There will. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> In that case, I eagerly await it. Reen speaking. Hello, this is Reen Schwarzer. Finally I got hold of you. Major Lecter, did you need something from me? Do I need something? Oh, well, since you asked. I seem to have lost a hyperactive little girl. Blue hair, combat shell. Don't suppose you've seen her now, hmm? <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. Where are you right now, Major? Uh, don't worry. I'm not in a hurry or anything. I'm heading to the station now. How about we meet up there? Understood. We'll head over now. Burner. Brown. Oh, is that Lecter? Haha, <laughs> we gotta head off to Kreutzen next, I guess. Don't ask me. We need to head out now. Let's get going, you two. <laughs> 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 
da ba 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 ba. Oh, I wanted to look at Eric Gallum a little longer. The Black Workshop. Professor. <laughs> it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I will be compiling the data. You go clean up. Y yes. Row. Tita is basically the Toa of the Trails in the Sky games. She's the nice little sister s character that just heals your soul by existing. So it's pretty nice seeing her in this game. Man, that was a crazy fun good time. It seems like the sort of place I'd never get bored at. Yeah, things here are even wilder than they were for our class seven. <laughs> I'm starting to question why I got myself into working here. Nah, this whole place seems like a pretty good deal to me. Uh, probably tough to keep up with everyone else, though. By the way, remember when they mentioned Nord in the briefing? It's got something to do with why I haven't been able to get into contact with Gaius lately. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been keeping an ear out for any info about him, but I got nothing. I see. That's a bit concerning. But I'm sure he's alright. This is Gaius we're talking about, after all, and he can just talk to the wind and it tells him shit. Uh, that's true. Uh, I'll ask him about the next time I go past your uses. Thanks, that'll be a load off my mind. But man, I sure am super duper jealous of you, Tilly. You get to be in class 7 and Reen's your teacher. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a surprise transfer into this class 7, too. No, thank you. Altina? Hmm? What's up? Got a tummy ache or something? No, it's nothing. Hey there, guys. <laughs> hey there, guys. What's up? He sounds like Ron from uh, Kim Possible, I think. A little bit, kind of. Maybe not. I don't know. Sup, Lecter? You miss me? Sorry about that, we were busy training in the keep and lost track of time. It's all good, I was just giving you a hard time. <laughs> hey Ash, what's up? Mm -hmm. Long time no see, Scarecrow. Well, if it isn't the Black Rabbit, almost didn't see you down there. I take it the kiddos here were dragging you all around all day, Reen? Oh no, they were actually a big help. Are you going to make your train on time, though? Ah, right, the one heading to Croydon is just about to depart. Loath as I am to leave, I suppose we must be off now. What? Already? Fine, if we gotta. I wanted to play a bit longer, though. Okay, then. I'll catch you two on the flip side. Keep an eye on Reen for me, Tilly. You too, Reen. Take good care of Tilly for me. I don't need to be reminded. I've already accepted this mission. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get tough, but do your best out there, Milliam. <laughs> you betcha! Well, then. See you around. I think it would have been comical if, uh, instead of replacing... Green! Let's all hang out together next time! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, it's a promise. I think it would have been great if, instead of replacing Millions Voice Actress with, like, another, like, pretty high-octave female voice, if they just got, like, <laughs> a really deep voice guy to do it. <laughs> Like, I am Milliam, <laughs> the tiny child. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> it's suddenly much quieter around here with Milliam gone. Yeah, there's one less person. <laughs> Altina? Something wrong? She and I, are we truly the same? No. My model number is higher, so I know my base specs should be superior to hers. Yet she's so... <laughs> Different. Tina. Pat, pat. <laughs> Head pats. What are you worried about? Milliam is Milliam, and you're you. I know you'll find it someday. A path you can follow. One that lets you be yourself. Me be myself? Today is just full of difficult problems. Today is just full of difficult problems. It fucking blows. My red hair, I'm Adolf from East. Phew, that should be good. I'm, I'm as prepared as I can be for tomorrow's Panzer Soldat training and our field exercises. It won't help to overdo things, so I'd better finish up here. Why do you have so many pieces of paper? Hmm. 
Sheesh, what a day. This is way harder than being a student. But man, I didn't expect to find Rosie and a monk here, too. Oh, that's right. Radio. Monk's radio. <laughs> monk mentioned something about an interesting show on tonight. It's almost time. Guess I'll give it a listen. Oh, is it just dying now? Convenient. Wait, this song. Good evening, listeners. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's 9 p.m. on April 16th, and you're listening to Radio Trista. Hey there, everyone. It's been a year and a half, but man, it feels more like three. Tonight is the long-awaited return of the hit radio show, <laughs> Time. Holy fuck, she's back. She's doing the radio show again. <laughs> Vita Clotilde is doing it. Holy fuck. number of first-time listeners, so allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Misty, and I'll be your host. Fucking Vita Clotilde, witch extraordinaire, angry Saboroboros, still doing a fucking radio show. <laughs> Due to some unfortunate circumstances, Aventime went on an abrupt hiatus, without so much as a proper farewell. But tonight, we're happy to announce we're finally back. Thanks in no small part to the fervent demands of our adoring fans. Oh my I guess fucking by now, god. Our original batch of young listeners have graduated and joined the workforce, huh? It's my hope that everyone out there can enjoy the reborn Aven time. Whether you're a day one devotee or a fresh faced fan, welcome. Fuck. <laughs> This is a fucking bigger twist than I was expecting at this point in time. What in the world are you doing, Vita? We're smack dab in the middle of April, and the Lino flowers are in full bloom. Though I'm sorry to say my new recording studio doesn't have nearly as many as the old one. Nevertheless, spring remains a season for new encounters and nostalgic reunions both. I'm sure you're all busy with your new lives, but I hope you take the time to stop and watch these beautiful white flowers dance through the air. Anyhow, I'd like to commemorate our return to the airwaves by reading some of the letters we've received from you listeners. Holy fucking shit, man. Our first man. one is from Miss Old Bookstore in St. Ark. <laughs> My god. Pushing the PS4 back a little bit because uh, eh, I think the wearing of the fans is getting picked up on the mic a little bit. So hoping, hoping pushing it back and pushing the mic forward towards me will uh, fix that problem. You don't know where it's recorded? <laughs> oh, okay, so it's not here. <laughs> I was surprised too. Last month, Misty contacted director Michael. They came to an agreement where we'd send her fan mail to her and she'd record her show and send it to us. Those were the terms for bringing Aben time back. It was quite interesting, but I guess the station accepted, knowing how popular her show was. That is pretty crazy. So, no one knows where Misty is? Yep, apparently she's always on the move, so this is the only way she could do it. But, 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 you like it, right? Isn't Misty just so awesome? Yeah, she didn't even seem rusty at all. She's funny and witty, she doesn't seem pushy, and just pulls her listeners in. It's dangerous. Wait a minute. How do you send her stuff and get things back if you don't know where she is? She has a P.O. box at the main post office in the capital. About five days after we send her the letter, she sends us back a recording. I remember when they first brought this up, there was some major pushback. But now that the first show is broadcast, I guess there aren't any more issues, right? Fuck. This calls from... Major Lecter. Hey there, has it been about five hours yet? <laughs> Thought maybe I should add my own segment to that little show earlier. <laughs> ah, Ben Time. That show, why is... Did you have any new info on Vita Clotilde? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this whole thing came straight out of left field. The Witch of Ouroboros that skittered back into the shadows after the old man hijacked their plot. Didn't expect to see her back in Arabonia. Now she's, she, she's on her own talk, radio talk show like nothing happened. Just between you and me, though, I was a big fan of Aben Time, so it made my day to hear it back on the air. <laughs> between you and me. Pretty awesome. Yeah, me too. 
But that's not the issue here. What's the intelligence? What's the intelligence division doing now? Oh, I've got my people watching our personal PO box night and day. Told them they're not even allowed to blink. But no one ever comes to pick up the letters. And when we check inside the box, lo and behold, it's as empty as a plundered treasure chest. She magics it away. Same goes for the memory course the show is on. It just suddenly appeared in the post office. Postage paid and ready to ship out. Sheesh, I can only imagine what kind of crazy spell she's slinging here. I see, so that's what happened. We could definitely shut the show down, but it's so popular the public would roast us on over a bonfire if we didn't. So the intelligence agency has decided to let the show keep going. We'll be screening every broadcast beforehand, though. If any interesting tidbits of news fall your way, it'd be a big help if you could pass them along to us. Perhaps a certain young lady from old Class 7 might have a clue about our slippery sorceress. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Emma. <laughs> Ooh, you certainly got some big expectations for me. I have been in touch with Emma, but she never mentioned anything about Vita in her letters. I hope her trip around the Empire with Selena's still going well. Vita. She may have been our enemy, and a terrifying one at that. But she ended up helping all of us in Class 7. And when he passed on, she was just as sad, angry, and upset as the rest of us. I know she's part of her Oberus, but it'd feel wrong to sell her out to the intelligence agency. Not like I could, though, even if I wanted to. Heck, could, she, could be she's just doing this for fun. Everyone's got a life, man. I guess for now, I'll just listen in on Aubin time every now and then. I just use magic that warps the reality of time and space and just, uh, use it to send mail. Which, honestly, isn't, like, the worst way to use magic. <laughs> Fuck postage. Pants are sold out training! Holy shit, we're gonna fight in some motherfucking robots. Who's ready for mech fights? It's gonna get real anime up in here real soon. Today's Panzer Soldat training exercises have great importance to the branch campus. Combat tactics and special ops will have joint exercises. Military finance will perform backup work. I want each and every one of the students to be prepared. They will need to be in top shape for the field exercises this weekend. Understood. Honestly, I don't know how prepared we can get them in just a week, but... But I'll do everything I can to make sure the students learn what they need to. Yay! That turned out great! Toa showed up. Had to do it. Very well. I'll be counting on you. I would tell you all to get ready now, however. For that... Sure, sir. Can you confirm something? Hmm? Me? We received a call from a certain shipping company this morning. They claimed a young man with black hair helped them during a delivery to leaves. I have red hair. Apparently, he resembled the famous Ashen Chevalier. Hello, Capua. Spin, you fucking sky, sky bandits. Oh, that? I couldn't just stand by and not help. Was there a problem? So it was you. I've received similar reports from people in town. <laughs> That's so like you, Reen. I remember when we were students, you'd help me with, all, with out with the student council requests all the time, too. Yeah, that sure takes me back. Oh, is that so? <laughs> now you're making me nostalgic, too. Huh? Ahem. I don't intend to hold it against you, but please keep your position in mind. You're an instructor at a military academy and the Ashen Follier besides. You shouldn't be going around taking on menial tasks. No, I believe it is a wonderful mentality. Commanding voice. Principal Le Guin. What do you mean by that? Schwarzer is embodying the ideals of our school. This is the foundation of the world the Lionheart Emperor spoke of. Uh, well, I don't know if I'd go quite that far. As the branch campus of Thor's Military Academy, we should support such actions. For the future of all our little fledglings. And for the sake of building a bridge between us and the townsfolk. Hmm? Isn't that... I see. I had heard the branch campus was built in haste. That reducing friction with the town would be a future task. However, as principal, I will, I will oversee the setup of the next step. For today, please prepare for the Panzer Soldat training and the field exercises. I do like her hair with like the braids that go back and tie in the thing back. Oh, I like it. Haha, <laughs> looks like you just landed yourself some extra work. Uh, are you going to be okay, Reen? 
I'm sure I'll be fine, especially given that Toei does like eight times more work than anybody. But like the principal said, we should focus on the Panzer Soldat training for now. Agreed. Very well. I should leave the other issue to you and the principal. Well then, each of you, please prepare yourselves. Dismissed. <laughs> Good to go. You will now receive quests at the start of each of your free days. Starting next chapter, you will be given details and locations for your quests from the beginning, except for hidden quests. Stating that there are, in fact, hidden quests. Afterwards, Reen and the others began preparing as quickly as they could. The first Panzer Soldat training exercises would be held at the branch campus. Poifect. Le Poifecto. It is, as we say in America, perfect. Ba, ba, da, 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 ba, ba, ba. This is a Panzer Soldat. It's a motherfucking mech. Have fun. You gonna punch some people in big robots. I hope you're ready to be sick badasses when you fight. <laughs> I made it. I'm leaving you in charge of the military drills. Do as you please with the students and be ready to adapt. Right. Right. And as usual, the old man is still crazy. I'm pretty impressed by how she's been able to keep up with him. I heard she's from a family of engineers and liberal. In any event, I think we're understaffed. Not to mention we're not going to get any training before we need to head out. It would also be nice if we could do simulations instead of just the basic controls. Yeah, it's risky, but I'm sure some, some of our students are capable enough. We'll split up the students. Instructor Randolph, you want to take the Hector too? You want to take the Hector, right? <laughs> The big Shongus with big shoulders. Heavy armor Panzer Soldat, Hector Zwei. Ein Zwei. Dry. Yeah, it's a little clunky, but I like its power. You're gonna use a Draken instead of the Ashen Knight, right? Do, do. Mass produced Panzer Soldat, Draken 2. And with a short sword instead of Yutashi? Yeah, I don't think Valmar would be a good example for them. My father taught me short sword skills, so I should be fine. Alright, I'll leave that to you. Now we just need to wait for our students to get ready. Hey Schwarzer, do you listen to the radio? Sure, well about as much as the average person. They started airing a new show in Crossbow last year that I've been listening to a lot. All the news programs are so boring, but I really like the stuff Radio Trista puts out. Like, just yesterday there was a show hosted by this gal named Misty. Man, she's great! I could seriously listen to her for hours. Apparently she was on hiatus for a while, and this is her big comeback. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I guess she went through a lot. I wonder how you'd react if I told him the truth. <laughs> yeah, you know Oroboros? Yeah. <laughs> She's one of the big head honchos. She was kind of... She was kind of slashed by uh, uh, Rufus Alberea. Ah. <laughs> Just moving. Sydney, your upper body is shaking too much. Lower your hips and move forward like you're sliding. <sighs> Come on, man. You say it like it's easy. Good job, Jessica. Now turn around and fall back. Understood. Good job. <laughs> Come on, Sydney. Stop being such a fuck up. Hey, fuck off, Reen. <laughs> We don't all just have a mystical magic knight that listens to us. <sighs> I can't believe they're actually making us pilot Panzer Soldats. Feels like I'm betraying the people of Crossbell. You say that, but you seem very eager to learn the basic operations. Agreed. You seem to have figured it out before even I did. Are you sure you've never piloted one before? Yeah, but I did drive an orbital car at the police academy. Once I got familiar with it, things just sort of clicked. So it's an extension of your driving skills, then. Or perhaps you just have a natural talent for it. I messed up a little while piloting mine, so I'm jealous. I kept trying to control it like I do Clomsilaeus. Oh, really? Maybe I'm actually really good at this after all. Wait, no, I don't want this to be the thing I'm good at here. 
Mmm, yes indeed. <laughs> Alright, everyone, it's a bit early, but we're gonna do a simple mock battle. What? Nani? Instructor Randolph and I will take turns fighting teams of two of you. Step forward when your name is called. First up, Yuna and Kurt. What? Already? This would be a good opportunity for me to gauge your skill. Good luck, you two. <laughs> Again, they look like they seem so mysterious and evil, but I know they're good. They're they're good guys, because they're my students. <laughs> you do have the basic movements down, so you should be able to handle a mock battle. These are plastic practice weapons, so you should be able to go all out within reason. Just like in a normal battle, make use of your senses and give it your all. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Two against one, and you're not even using your divine knight or Itachi. Unfortunately, they wouldn't let me order Itachi for a Panzer Soldat. But just so you know, I piloted these countless times last year at the main campus. To be completely honest, I don't think I'll have much of a problem taking both of you on, you little weak bitches. Girl, what was that? Well then, I'll take your word for that. <laughs> Alright, show me what you can do, motherfuckers. Now, bring it on! Bring it on! Bad Divine Knight and Panzer Soldat battles. Three areas can be targeted in the Divine Knight. Head, body, arms. Each by a separate unbalance efficacy. With more stars are getting a higher chance to unbalance. Unbalancing does a follow-up attack. One brave point. Only two, once two brave points, you can use very special abilities. Which the three areas, the enemy's weak point varies depending very on well. stance. Arms. Okay, cool. It's down. It's mine. Go, go. Okay, about enemy target in defense. Target of enemy's attack will be indicated by a target line. Pressing the L2 button allows you to see a target line whenever you are issuing an order. Enemy crafts deal heavy damage, so please defend to your advantage. That's neat. Yeah. Cross break. Uh, will this do good? It's impede hunter, so. Wide open! It's mine! <laughs> Yeah. My turn. So that's how many stars? Three, four. Well, might as well go for the head. Okay. Got fig. Got figure them all out. So. Um. No, I'll save that for a. Uh, Body. Our chance. It's mine. Save My up turn. some brave points. Okay, body is fully effective. There. Okay. It's mine. Oh, okay, so he just gets to go by it. Because, you know. <laughs> All right. Turn order. Item, repair, restore 60% HP. You do slightly more damage, so. Thank you. Heal you up. Let's go! Craft. Delay. Impede one. Let's do this. AT delay. It's my turn. Good, I'll defend. Wow, defend uses 20 in my CP? That's bullshit. Very well. Okay, crafts. Impede unblockable. Here we go. That's cool. Finisher. That's pretty nice. Okay, and now he's broken. Right. So let's do a. Uh, let's do that. Wide open. Let's do that. Gemini Blast. 
Finisher, you know, just, just to add insult to injury on this one. There we go. That was good. <laughs> well, look at that. Nice. They got a little bit of XP. Just a wee bit. Just a wee. Just a just a little laddie. Oh my god. We did it. No. Not bad, guys. Don't forget that feeling. You didn't even break a sweat. Figures. Alright, Wayne and Lenore, you're up next. Once those two have disembarked, get on board, grab your weapons, and get to your ready positions. Y yes, sir. Ha, <laughs> I've been waiting to go up against you, instructor. I'm Lenora. <laughs> Gun. Good job, you two. Girl, it's so frustrating. I knew you'd just go easy on us like that, but still. There's no need to get worked up over it. This is our first time piloting, after all. That said, something doesn't sit right with me. Even knowing you went any easy on us. Something about the way he fought felt half-hearted. <laughs> I surrender. The way you dodged that was amazing, Cheech. Amazing. Jeez, it's your first time you already got the basics down. Next up we'll have Ash and Jessica. You guys ready? Of course. I've been waiting for... <laughs> no way. Mm. Hey, Ash. Excuse me, what is that supposed to mean? Don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem teaming up with you or anything. I just thought if we were going to do a mock battle, why not make it more interesting? Instructor Randolph, let me borrow that Hector. I want to go up against Instructor Schwarzer, one on one. That's... It's fine, we'll do the mock battle with that. Ha! <laughs> Fucking Hector. <laughs> Fucking Ash is the best. <laughs> sure about this? Yeah, as long as it's fine with you. If he's this motivated, I don't want to let that enthusiasm go to waste. His enthusiasm, huh? Well, Alright, just make sure to put him in his place, okay? <laughs> this man, Ash is the guy. Oh. And that's why he's using an axe, because that's what fucking he does. Who does that guy think he is? He's being way too cocky. You're one to talk. <laughs> Glad you agreed to it, Instructor Reen. I just wanted to see the greatness of our nation's beloved hero firsthand. It's fine by me. Are you sure you can handle a Hector, though? He's got a lot of power, but that makes it hard to control. It might be a bit tough for a beginner. Yeah, seems like it. But I need a lot of power to do this! But he's too far. No, he's not. <laughs> that thing can do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Chains. Not bad, but I've still got the upper hand. Oh boy. This man. <laughs> Okay, thanks. It's my turn. <laughs> Douche. Uh, I have a feeling your head. It's down. An opening. There we go. It's my turn. Uh, only three. So let's go for arms. Okay, that's bad efficacy. Caution. I might like half health. It's fine. Body, how are you doing? Okay, guard, so head is best. It's my turn. Uh, twin slash. Uh, uh, that's unbalanced. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. There. It's down. An opening. Pop that in there. Yeah. One. Rumble smash. It's 4,000, that's fine. It's my turn. Head. It's down. Uh, An opening. I'm up! Crafts... Uh, I'm actually gonna do a repair stone. A 
just ensure that I got that. It's my turn. And crafts all on balance. Because that was broke. Ah, well, I broke it's on a bad turn. turn. This attacks arms. Yeah, there we go. And finisher. Blade and perked. I like how we had a freaking custom axe for a soul dot. Real. Alright, nice work. <laughs> like, he had a freaking custom axe for this thing built. Somehow. What? Mm. Whew, he made it through somehow. That thing at the start was one heck of a dirty trick. Agreed, it was before the battle had begun. Quite so, an Arabonian shouldn't act so shamelessly on the field of battle. But that skill of his, and the fact he knew about the weapon's hidden function. Ugh, no good. Ash, carbide! Your little cheap shot aside, what the heck was up with that hidden weapon function? That equipment just arrived in an extra shipment yesterday. How'd you know it could do that? It was just a coincidence. I swung in and that happened. Instructor Schwarzer, thanks for showing me what you can do. I'd like to go another round next time there's a chance. Sure, anytime. By the way, that flurry of attacks after your first move was a little rough. If you concentrate on making each individual strike more precise, it'll help you connect with the next one more easily. Hey, Ash! Oh man, sorry about him. I knew you could be a bit of a pain, but... <laughs> it seems like you're gonna have your hands full with that one. That natural skill of his. He could be really strong with the right training. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> he is Dude Laura. <laughs> the Panzer Soldat training ended around midday. Yet after lunch, before the morning's exercise, excitement, even at time to settle down, the students were told about the special lessons being held that weekend. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. <laughs> High speed through the darkness. We're riding out to... <laughs> we're riding out to Sutherland on a private train? You having a giraffe? Wow, I'm starting to get excited. But that's pretty sudden, don't you think? We just started school. Well, if it's in order, we just have to follow it. If it's this Friday, that's not much time to get ready. I wonder if we'll be able to get food while we're there. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on some fresh mountain ingredients. We will depart Friday evening. Each class will have departure plans written up before then. Prepare according to your instructor's orders and wait the departure date. That is all. Going off to some rural area to train only a few weeks after starting school? Sutherland. That's a province in the southwest part of Arabonia, right? It's only a few hours from here by train. Sutherland, huh? It's been some time. I think that's the closest province to Liberal. Oh, then that means... <laughs> Just like I heard. Never been there myself, but maybe. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, okay. Le Guin nodding at Musay. Hmm. Hmm. How does this work? Color me interested. What private machinations of someone's mind... I know. Practice exam, pants, all that training, April. Package delivery, the spice must flow. Continue to train hard. Sent white silk kerchief to Elise. Oh, okay, so you buy a gift and it sends it when, like, the chapter point ends. Elise's bond increased to three. Or, okay, no, it sends it to people that aren't available to talk to at that point in time. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interessante. Interesting. Yeah, that's going to be one thing that I do regularly, where it's like, go buy the gifts, because you need links. You need your bond levels to go up. To go up, up, up. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody say way ho. Way ho! <laughs> I'm a mountaineer. Come on, Wayne. music get to my soul see i think the interesting thing about like the character design of like the students especially in this game is 
any of these characters could be in class seven and i'd be like yeah they don't they don't stand out like th they all look like they could be in class seven as a story character is it almost time yeah the branch campus is very own armored train should be here soon can hold valmar as well as multiple panzer soldats even once it's here we still gotta load not just the machines but the supplies and equipment too and we're supposed to be leaving by nine we gotta make it Oh yeah, it's here. Ah. Uh. You know. It's a train. Thaws. Branch Campus exclusive train. Durflinger. It's the Durflinger. So pretty. It's silver. Hello, we are your mechanics. Mechanic, 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 Claire! Hmm? Oh. Hmm, so you came too. What the? Whoa, for real? Hmm. Major Claire Rivelt. 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 Students and instructors of Thor's, it's a pleasure to meet you all. I am Major Claire Rivelt of the Railway Military Police. Rebuild. I'm here to hand off the armored train Derflinger to the branch campus. Hello, I'm Claire. I'm a mature woman that many people would like to fuck. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, trains. No, and Tita's talking to mechanics, of course, because why wouldn't she be? Okay, we're all set here. Over, or, um, okay, we're all set over here now. Can you go help with loading the supplies? Sure thing. <sighs> Understood. Kyrie the boy. Oh, Captain. I mean, Major Claire. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Indeed, I believe we haven't seen each other since the end of last year. I wanted to congratulate you on graduating and on your new job here at the branch campus. Though you might not want to hear that from me. No, that's not the case at all. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. I never could have dreamed you'd be the one handing the train off to us, though. <laughs> Milliam and Lecter beat me here, though. Jokes aside, you have the full support of the RMP, including securing the site for your field exercises. I'll be joining you on your trip to the site, so you have to put up with me for a bit longer. <laughs> put up with, she says. Hey, what are you two talking about? Yuna and Instructor Randolph. <laughs> it's good to see you again, too, Yuna. You two know each other. Last year I worked as a temporary instructor for Crossbow's Military Police Academy. We know each other from then. Yeah, I really enjoyed your lessons. And you really helped me that, that one time, too. That one time? N nothing. Don't pry into a girl's past like that. <laughs> there, there, Yuna. You seem to be doing well. That uniform really suits you. <laughs> Thanks. I still feel a bit weird wearing it, though. Well, someone's running hot and cold today. Loves her, hates me, fucking bitch. <laughs> and First Lieutenant Orlando. It's good to see you again, too. Can't thank you enough for your help here at the branch campus. Well, I was kind of forced into it. But don't worry, I'm going to do all the work I've given. As long as you keep your hands clean, anyway. Well, yes, well, I should keep that in mind. Seems like there's more going on here than I thought. So this is where you've been, Major Rivelt. Good day, Major Irving. Nice to see you again, Toa. Wow, I can't believe it's really been half a year since I saw you during my time with the NGOs. You can you can catch up later. It's nearly our departure time. Where are the principal and the professor? It appears that she has yet to even load her soul dot. Her soul dot? I wonder if that's the golden one I saw during the Northern War. There's no need. A pleasure to see you both of you, Lady Aurelia, Professor Schmidt. <laughs> You're that RMP woman? Long time no see, Icy Maiden. I thank you for your delivery of the armored train and for seeing us to our exercise grounds. No thanks are necessary. I was simply performing my duty. M more importantly, Principal, will you not be taking your soul dot? As I said, there's no need. Neither I nor the professor will be coming after all. <gasps> Nani? Mm -hmm. Seriously? But I thought you were coming when I made all the arrangements. Oh, hold on, this changes everything. 
We had factored in your strength when playing for this operation. That's precisely why. If our little fledglings are ever going to learn to fly, they'll need to be pushed out of the nest. With me there, none of them will experience true growth. I've already reported this to the Intelligence Division. <laughs> what good would it, do, would it do me to traipse about in the wilderness with all of you? The operations of record-keeping will be performed by my assistants. Good luck dealing with your sudden lack of power. It's almost time. I'll just have to leave the rest of the others and get going. Understood. This is such a hassle. Motherfuckers! <laughs> we had plans! <laughs> we had a Keikaku! 8.55 p.m. Oh god, we're leaving at night? Ugh. It's been three weeks since we've begun here, and I'm sure there are still some of you with worries. But after the Panzer Soldat training yesterday, a new door has opened for you. From ancient times, travel has been used as a way to foster growth. I hope this will be such a trip for each of you. That is all. Yes, ma'am! Yes, ma'am! Yeah, let's do it! Mm. Herschel, Orlando, I leave our fledglings in your care. <laughs> Not you, Schwarzer. You can go fuck off. Understood. Please, leave it to us. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on, but I'll do what I can. As for you, Schwarzer, the lull that's gone on since the end of the Northern War is now over. As someone with great power, you must stay alert and always be aware of the flow of events in the world. Face that which you lack. Head on. Rely on those around you when you need to. Principal? Understood. I will. Just like the man I colored my hair after. In regard to Panzer Soldat maintenance, I've already told you the basics. If you need to perform a minor fix, you can do it yourself. Show me what a representative of Zeiss Central Factory can do. Yes, leave it to me. Yes, I can fix any robot myself. Fuck off if you say I can't. I shall destroy all people with my massive robot dong. <laughs> uh. I suppose all it takes are the right words to make someone leap headlong into danger. Eh, hey, General? Twenty-four students and instructors. How many will make it back, I wonder? <laughs> A turbulent era lies ahead, where it won't matter who you are or where you're from. If they're not strong enough to make it through this, they don't have much of a future waiting for them anyway. Hmm. If they die here, they don't have much of a future. Yeah, because they're dead. They died, and therefore can't do anything in the future. But we're on a train. Oh, we're going through Heimdall, and then going down. Ugh. Oh. Boo, 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 do, boo, boo, boo. Hmm. Hmm. Trains. 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 God, her boots are really high. <laughs> they are laced all the way up. Shower room. Yes! Nine thirty seven PM must be specific. It's thirty seven, not thirty six, not thirty eight, thirty seven. Mm. Always confident, <laughs> just sitting there enjoying his confidence tea, just. <laughs> I'm confident. <laughs> Ladi do you, Ladi do. <laughs> Durflinger, second car, briefing room. 
Field exercises are scheduled to last for three days this time. After arriving at St. Ark tomorrow, we will move to the field exercise grounds nearby. Once we finish setting up all the facilities, each class will begin their own exercises. I see, so the train itself is going to be our base. So that's why we were assigned our own private train. Well, makes sense. Seems like it's got pretty much anything we'd need. For more information on each class's exercise task, please see the provided documents. Hmm? Sorry, but it seems like Class 7 isn't mentioned here. Oh, you're right. We've prepared a special series of exercises for Class 7. Because of this, we plan to have a separate meeting once we arrive at the field exercise grounds. Instructor Swarger and the three members of Class 7 will be present at this meeting. These students, too. Oh, color me intrigued. <laughs> well, don't get your hopes up. This meeting is going to go over tasks unique to special operations. Tasks unique to special operations. I wonder what they could be. Well, I suppose we'll get more details tomorrow morning. There are reports of possible threats in Sutherland. It was a miscalculation on the principal's part to not join us. However, we must simply handle matters with our available personnel. There are not sim these are not simply training exercises. We need each and every one of you to treat this as, a, as though it were a live combat situation. Understood. I'll gather up the members of Class 7 tomorrow. Very well. This concludes today's briefing. Instructors Herschel and Orlando, brief your students on their tasks tonight. For now, each of you, uh, each of you rest up. That is all. Dismissed. Dismissed. Tasks unique to Class 7. I wonder. I'm on a train, yeah. We'll arrive at St. Ark tomorrow morning. I'm sure the students are in Valmire already, but I'll take one more look around the train just in case. And talk to people. Hello. Yes, everything's on schedule over here. What about on your end? Long range communication using the Arcus too. I remember hearing it's possible using the equipment in the Durflinger. Sounds like he's talking with the RMP. He's got plans. Okay, can't. Flinger car one. Oh, uh, yo, what's up, Toa? How's it going? How's it going, babe? Yo, what's up, train boy? What's up, Pablo? <laughs> C can't believe I'm able to watch someone operate a train while wearing clothes like this. <laughs> I'm so glad to be alive. Ma, da, thanks for giving birth to me. <laughs> Someone's happy. RMP officer. Since this is the first big trip this train's been put through, it was decided that we'd handle operating at this time. But I can feel eyes boring through the back of my head. I see, so this is one of those train fanboys I've been hearing about lately. Luis. Hmm, I see, so this is where they scramble the communication signals. The state of the art interface is really nice. She seems well versed in these things. Yo, what's up, Toa? How's it going? How's it going? Oh. You look busy as ever, Toa? Ah, well, yeah, a little. I have a feeling Class 9 is going to be in charge of setting up camp for the field exercises tomorrow, so I thought it would be a good idea to start preparing now. Ah, uh, well, sorry for saddling you with even more work than usual. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm used to being busy after all. Besides, I'm sure you guys are going to be even busier than me. You might need to jump into battle at any time. You haven't been told the details of what you're supposed to do. Yeah, well, that's something I'm used to. But now that you mention it, I'd still rather know what we're supposed to be doing. Well, the way Major Irving was talking, it seems like a pretty dangerous situation. Like some of the other regions, there's been very little info about the Jaeger Corps' movements here. Oh, really? The border with Liberal is right at the south, after all. Since Jaeger Corps are completely prohibited over there, it's not easy for them to get into Erebonia from that direction. I see, so it'd be difficult for them to operate in large squads. But if they're in small elite units, that could be trouble. Yeah, we shouldn't take things lightly. We need to hit, lead our students and get through the day in one piece. Yeah, I don't plan on losing anyone. Good luck tomorrow, Toa. <laughs> you too. Get a good night's sleep and try not to overdo it tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Can do. Ha <laughs> ha! Can do attitude. Boop. Okay, open this. What's up, Claire? Wanna fuck on this bed right there? Oh, Reen, are you patrolling the train? Yeah, something like that. Thought I'd talk to the students now since I have the chance. <laughs> Is that so? You've grown into a fine man. I'm sure Sarah would be proud. <laughs> I've got nothing on Instructor Sarah, except for that red hair. Sometimes my students will even scold me. I'm still I'm relieved. I was concerned about how you were faring last year, after the Northern War. Well, I haven't been doing much since then. Major Claire of the Railway Military Police, thank you for all your assistance back then. 
Oh no, not at all. It was you, Altina, and Sarah who did all the heavy lifting, so to speak. We were able to respond so swiftly thanks to Valmar and the bracers guiding the citizens to safety. But it ended up being a painful experience for both you and Sarah. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be talking about this. As you know, it was the RMP who built the supply line for General Lugwin's army of Panzer soldats. It was all for the Imperial government's... No. It was all to make His Excellency's wishes come true. Ah. It's something I've been wondering for a while now. Why does someone like you continue to work under... him? How did you come to be an Iron Blood? Well... I know a little about Millium's circumstances. I'm sure Major Lecter and the Governor General both have their reasons, too. But you, Claire, you seem like you're the odd one out of me. When you're doing RMP work, you're sincere and caring. I understand why Yuna's opened up to you like she has. When I think of all that, it seems even stranger. Why, Claire? I'm not as great a person as you think I am. In this huge world, I'm just one small person. I have nothing. If His Excellency hadn't taken me in, I would have disappeared entirely. What? Chancellor Gilead Osborne is my savior. He took me in ten years ago after I had lost everything in an accident. It was also thanks to him that I found Thor's Military Academy and the Railway, Railway Military Police, places where I belonged. My gratitude to him is not something I could ever hope to repay, even if I were to work my whole life. I'm sorry. I didn't know any of that. Don't worry about it. I don't think any of this will excuse my actions. Rather, I believe I must face the things I have done for the future. I took part in claiming Crossbow and North Ambria for His Excellency. I must face those whose lives I have disrupted in doing so. Claire. But you don't need to feel that way, too, Reen. You have been piloting your Divine Knight on behalf of the Imperial Government for the past year. I'm sure you've been thinking about how you should act as a member of Class 7 this whole time. Ah. Well, it's not quite as impressive as you make it sound, but it's kind of embarrassing that you can see right through me like that. I guess I should have known I couldn't keep anything from the Icy Maiden. That little that title is starting to feel a little embarrassing. I am in the second half of my 20s now, after all. <laughs> no, you haven't changed a bit. Instructor Sarah might have changed a bit since she went back to being a bracer. But you're the same as you were back when I first met you two years ago. Or rather... Rival, are you here? There's something I need to confirm with you. Major Irving. <laughs> have I interrupted something? Oh, no. We were just having a small talk. Well, then, Major Claire, I'll excuse myself now. Please be sure to get plenty of rest tonight, Reen. Reen. I don't think you need to force yourself to figure out your relationship with him right now. I'm sure you'll eventually be able to come to terms with it all. So, for now, I think you should take your time and slowly organize your thoughts one by one. Ah. Uh, thanks. That makes you feel a little bit better. Hmm. I don't know what that was about, but you're certainly acting compassionate today. Are you trying to replace a meal with him? Forget it. I was out of line bringing him up. No, that's not my intention. So what was it you needed to confirm with me? It's about the information we'll be sending east. Okay, they're sending information in a direction, an easterly direction. Obviously gotta take a shower. Oh, this is nice. EP, HP, EP, and assault points are fully restored. CP is restored by 100. Der Flinger Car 3. Oh, look at me. I'm so cool. I'll talk to you in a little bit. I want to talk to you guys first. Oh, Instructor Reen, please don't hesitate to ask if you'd like something to drink. Sure, thanks. Thank you for all the hard work, too. Seems a little small, but how's the kitchen? Oh, it's great. It's true that the space is limited, but because of that, everything is stored very efficiently. I'm so happy that I get to put this place to good use. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Okay. How are you guys? Are you guys twins? You guys have very similar hair. Kyrie. Our exercises are really going to ramp up starting tomorrow, and I'm in charge of the supply team. No pressure, right? But aren't you from a business family, Stark? Besides, your grades are top tier. I think you're perfect for the position. I'm the one who should be worried. I was made head of the medical team. But in the medical training, your fir first aid skills were faster and more precise than anyone else's. Personally, I don't think I belong on the comms team. I can barely talk without stuttering. And on top of that, I'm supposed to be helping with the accounting and operation Dur Durflinger. 
Didn't you help your father your manage didn't you help your father with managing his territory? And that aside, you're really good with numbers. So that means we're all in the right positions after all. I guess the f faculty here know us pretty well. Yeah, Instructor Toa sure is impressive. <laughs> yes, she is. You know it. Well, well, if it ain't Instructor Schwarzer. Seems like you're pretty close to the Chancellor's best piece of arm candy. Hey, that's extremely disrespectful to Major Claire. Whatever, man. She's the Icy Maiden. She's not about to get her feelings hurt. <laughs> She's not about to get her feelings all hurt by something like that. Ugh, I swear. By the way, Schwarzer, got any plans to ride that night doll of yours around? It'd be great to see it in action sometime. I don't call Valmar unless I absolutely need to. He's not some sideshow. I won't call him in just to satisfy your curiosity. If you keep acting like this, this is all just fun and games. You're going to end up getting hurt during field exercises. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking Ash. <laughs> oh, is the briefing over? What's the plan for tomorrow? The other class has got instructions, but not us. About that, I actually wasn't told either. I'll be, I'll be able to give you the details tomorrow morning. Hmm? Come on, you're our teacher. You need to get it together. This is just like what happened during the entrance ceremony. Well, it seems like our exercises are going to be a bit of a special case. Uh, class 7, including myself, will get a briefing tomorrow morning. Fine. Instructor Claire was way more on top of things at the police academy. <laughs> I've got no chance if you're comparing me to Major Claire. I'm a little surprised, though. You respect her so much, even though she's an Arabonian. But like I told Kurt, it's not that I hate Arabonians or anything. She's the perfect commander, an incredibly skilled marksman. She's caring and sincere. She's the one who saved me and gave me a chance. A chance. Now, I'm just saying it's impossible not to respect her. Unlike a certain someone I could name. <laughs> well, I can't agree. I, I agree you can't avoid respecting her. She's helped me out more times than I can count since I met her back when I was a student. Oh, well that explains why you two seem so oddly close. I may have to thoroughly interrogate you. <laughs> it's not like that. I'm nowhere, as, I'm nowhere near as good as Major Claire, but I promise to do the best I possibly can. I don't know what we'll be doing tomorrow. Make sure you get enough rest tonight. <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. B -b 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 -baka. B -b 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 -baka. What the hell? Yeah, what's up, you three? How's it going? So we're going to be... Uh, so we're going to be going out, we're gonna be going out to the countryside to do training, eh? But it'd be nice to go out, all out, and not have to worry about civilians nearby. But like Instructor Randolph said, we need to stay on our guard. I, get, I still get the feeling some of us are treating this like a field trip. I'm sure everyone will shape up once the exercises begin. But no matter what happens, I need only rely on my Schleiden school training. <laughs> Glad to hear you're so fired up. Schleiden. Can I buy stuff from you? Buy. Oh, look at all the money I have. Don't need to worry about funds. How's it going, Valerie? Heard that the railroads stretch all the way out to North Ambria now. Well, the ride's pretty smooth, at least. Yeah, you, you have opinions. Hey, Musei. They aren't the RMP and Major. With that pretty face of hers and that luscious figure, she's playing dirty. Try not to be too biased against Major Claire, okay? <laughs> Why, whatever makes you think I would. So, Instructor Ian, do you like older women? Age doesn't really matter. Wait, what are you trying to make me say? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to hear that. You know, Instructor Ian, it's only us in here right now, just you and me. Could you please stop teasing me? I'm, I'm your instructor. Oh my, teasing you? Me? Why, I'd never. I'm completely serious. <laughs> Let's go. Phew, this is a pretty sweet setup. Just look at the shower. Who knows, maybe things will get even, even get steamy in there. For the love of idiot, please don't cause any trouble. Don't try and fuck your classmates in the shower. <laughs> nah, I don't need to take another shower, but let's just uh, walk over here and open this door. Yo, what's up, Kurt? How's it going, my boy? So we'll be in Sutherland by tomorrow morning, huh? You seem happy, Kurt. Have you been to Sutherland before? Oh, instructor. Yes, I have. Though it was a while ago. I lived in Parm until I was about ten years old. Oh, that's the little town on the southern edge of the province, right? I remember right, it's famous for its cloth and dyes. That's right, when I lived there, they had a number uh, they had a number of old-fashioned workshops all over town. A vendor school training hall, too. Really? I didn't know your family had a training hall out there. Well, maybe you can stop by while we're in the area. Something wrong? No, it's nothing. More importantly, what will we be doing for our field exercises? I'll fill you in on all the details tomorrow morning. I can say that we'll definitely have some downtime so we can use to visit Parm. You can give us a tour of the place? Sure, I suppose I can. Just hope I'm actually able to get something out of this trip. 
Don't worry, I'm sure you will. Real. Durflinger car five. It's the Durflinger. Yo, what's up, Tita? Altina came in looking really down. Um, I wonder if something happened. Altina? I don't know anything on that yet, but I'll talk to her. Just keeping an eye out for her. Oh, no, you don't have to thank me for that. I'll help. I'll help? I just want to open my freaking slots. Like, Altina doesn't even have one extra. She only has... They all are so goddamn locked. Do none of Thanks. you bring Sepeth with you? Actually, that's shot. I'll help. ZCF, critical way, EP, EP, EP. Master Quartz, Cell, Exchange. Ah, I can. I have a little bit more. There we go. Ornaments. Thanks. Okay, how's it going, Freddy? St. Ark. I bet their highways are chock full of monsters with some nice meat on their bones. I have to be sure to sharpen up my spear and knives. He's planning on going hunting. <laughs> this mad lad. Hey, Altina, how's it going? Altina, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that the Panzer Soldat training didn't go well. Are you talking about your piloting? It might have something to do with how you control Clom Soleus. Look, some people are good with Panzer Soldats and some aren't. It won't bother you too much. But you know and Kurt got it right away. I feel powerless in a way. Hey, Altina. Yes? Um, never mind. Once we get back to campus, you can train to your heart's content. I'll do my best to help you, too. I see. Thank you. What are our plans for tomorrow? Oh, all of Class 7 will be summoned early in the morning. We'll tell you the details then. Just get a good, nice rest. And, of course, you can always talk to your classmates. Understood. I shall return to my room now. Good day. Good day to you, sir. Good day. She seems frustrated. Just like when William first came to school. She's starting to change. Good, good. Kick open this door. Go to Durfling and cost six. Oh, hello. hello. How are you guys doing? First mission the, at the camp is to move the Panzer Soldats off the train. K this should be easy. Why am I so nervous? Seems like Wayne is the type to overthink things. Hope he doesn't let him mess him up. Gustav. Haha, <laughs> it's an honor to be able to get my hands on a Panzer Soldat so early in the field exercises. What's up, or what's up, Orlando Randolph, man? We'll be using the Draken and Hector for our field exercises this time around. Don't worry about the second Draken. That one's just for backup. Anyway, once we're there, I'll need the two of you to board. Yo, what's up, Valmar? How's it going, my boy? Are you done with the duties for today, Reen? Yeah, all done for now. Sorry to keep you cramped up here all the time. <laughs> As I said, don't worry about it. I've gotten accustomed to it during my travels with you. <laughs> and that makes me feel a little bit better. We'll arrive tomorrow morning, so it won't be too much longer. Understood. Hmm? What's wrong? I felt the presence of movement in the mana currents, in the direction we're headed, far to the south. A presence? Can you pinpoint it? No, it's vanished. Was it simply a fluctuation in the septium veins, Yug? <laughs> Perhaps I was mistaken. I should keep an eye out for any further movement. Yeah. Either way, let's be on our guard moving forward. With any luck, I won't have any need to call you. Agreed, but if you must, please do so without hesitation. I will protect you and your colleagues, just as I have always done. Thank you, I'm counting on you. <laughs> hey yo! Return to your room and rest. Oh, that's nice. Oh, th it's nice, I can, can move to train car too. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Oh, it's beautiful, it's the sound of sirens. This is a message from Derflinger Car 1 for all Branch Campus students. We will arrive at the destination for our field exercises at 5.10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Please be sure to get lots of rest so you're ready to wake up bright and early. Bright and early. Shall do. I think I've done enough for today. I should probably hit go to bed soon. If there's nothing else I need to do, I'll head back to my cabin in Car 2. Which is where I, uh, where I fast traveled. So, perfect. We'll arrive at the field exercise grounds first thing tomorrow. It'll be an early morning, so I should rest while I can. Rest in your room. Hey, how's it going? 
Oh, Instructor Randolph, you headed to bed too? Yeah, I finished all the, finished filling all the kiddos in about the plan tomorrow. But it's still pretty early for me. I'd rather go get a drink. Oh yeah, you even old enough to drink yet? Well, I'll be turning 20 next month. Oh, grats. Ugh, well I guess tomorrow's gonna be a busy day, so I better hit the sack sooner rather than later. Good night. Yeah, good night. I speed through, uh... <sighs> White shirt, skin was showing. Animos flowers. Huh? I guess we've entered Sutherland. It's beautiful. Ah, tank top. It's part of the Empire, too. Because it's so far down south and away from all the fighting, things are peaceful here. Never been down here before. That huge castle over there belongs to the Empire Army? Yeah, that's Drechnor Fortress. It's a base on par with Grelia Fortress. The Provincial Army uses it as their headquarters. Pretty crazy. Ah, so then that great castle there is... Yeah, that's St. Ark, capital of the Sutherland Province. Saint Ark. Wow. Ah, oh, you can't, you can't, uh, high speed mode through this. Presumably, you can only skip it. And I don't want to skip it. Okay. The Durfling arrived at Saint Ark right on schedule. The train stopped there for about 30 minutes while goods were loaded onto it, then departed. Bound for the field exercise ground southwest of the city. Hi ho, Silver. Arrival confirmed. Ooh, I know that voice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Had to show up now of all times, huh? This so is Silphied. Commencing bracer activity. Yo. Collaborators have been secured. But we might have even more? Hmm. Looking forward to seeing what your helpers can do. It's fucking Fee! See ya, Sarah. Yeah, it's Fee! Evasion Princess Supreme! You cannot touch her! She has base dodge of better than you. Oh. Oh boy. X camp. Uh. Exercise camp. 5:12 a.m. We're 2 minutes behind schedule. We're done fucked. I guess there's like a blade on the front of it, <laughs> presumably to cut the air. <laughs> Grass, 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 grass. It's grass, 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 grass. Look at all this grass, grass. Oh, it's a camp. <laughs> Panzer Soldats! Let's take some steppy steps. 6.30 a.m. It has been an hour. And then some. I wonder if they're smart enough to use the Panzer Soldats to move shit. Or not. Like, oh, heavy barrel. Panzer Soldat hand just coming over here. Ch chunk a chunk per tar per dunk per chunk a chunk her per derp dunk the bitter per change uh class 8 combat tactics will perform combat training and mission exercises with panzer soldats class 9 military finance will perform support exercises such as communication drills refueling and rescue missions 
Four of you in class seven, special operations, including instructor Schwarzer, will have two main tasks. Your first task will be a wide area patrol. You are to gather info on the surroundings while scouting for enemy forces. The second is local contribution. You will assist citizens in the area in order to improve local opinion regarding our field exercises. Henceforth, these two tasks will be collectively referred to as the branch campus as special ops missions. Hmm, how to put this? They seem like reasonable tasks for an army, and yet not. <laughs> now I understand. Those are definitely tasks suited for Class 7. I think I even know who came up with them. <laughs> I'm sure you're thinking of the correct person. Hmm. Though its numbers may be small, it's still a squad led by the Ashen Chevalier. Go out there and do some good work for the branch campus. Yes, understood. I'm guessing we'll meet with the person in charge of the area first. You're quick on the uptake. That'll make this easy. Mark uh, Marquis High Arms will be waiting in his mansion in St. Ark. Though it's still early in the morning, we can visit him at any time. Lord High Arms. That's gracious of him. The High Arms family. One of the four great houses and overseers of the Southern Province. Though he's considered to be quite moderate, he's one of the most influential nobles in the Empire. We're going to meet a bigwig like that from the get-go? Don't worry, I've met him before. There's no need to be so nervous. So we'll meet with the Marquis, uh, Marquis, and he'll give us any requests related to our missions. Yes, report the arrival of the branch campus to him and inform him of our field exercises have begun. In order to perform our field exercises, we require approval from the one overseeing the region. Understood. I can't, I re I can't really keep up with all this, but we're finally going to start our special ops missions. That much I understand. Yes, at long last. I'm ready. Let's get started. So am I. Glad to see you're all fired up. Alright, let's make sure we're all equipped and head for St. Ark. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Let's do it to it, guys. Let's do this thing. We're gonna beat the shit out of them just like a king, king, king. In order to get to St. Ark from here, you need to take the highway. Actually, I was planning to meet with the Marquis, Marquis before I returned to base. So you can come along with me if you'd like. R really? So you weren't planning to stick around the, at the camp then? If that's the case, we'd love to join you. Good to be working with you, Major Rival. Yes, you too, Altina. It's Kurt, right? Pleasure to meet you. Yes, likewise. The right arm of the Railway Military Police. She already knows everyone here besides me. There are a number of things that concern me, including our special ops missions. But in the name of the Vander family, I simply need to give it my all. Ugh. During each set of your exercise, you'll find a number of students somewhere on the camp or in the train cars. Some of these students will give you branch campus requests or raise the branch campus enhancement, so be sure to look out for them. The students' locations will change depending on the story of progress, but you'll be able to locate them with the mini map. At the camp, certain characters offer shop services. Kyrie sells medicine, Sandy sells food, Stark sells general goods, Pablo sells weapons and equipment, customized weapons, courts, Gustav creates and installs EX orbs. Oh, okay. Uh, train ground 2. As you fill your notebook, you can re report to specific characters receive rewards, battle notes, character notes, book notes. Okay, interesting. We got a message on Arcus 2. What? I got an orbital mail on Arcus 2? Wow, I've sent messages on terminals before, but I never imagined I'd be able to get them like this. Looks like it's from Elise. <laughs> it's a thank you message. Guess you like my gift. If you send a gift to someone, they'll send a thank you message in return. You can check your mail by pressing L2 to access the action menu, then pressing circle. Oh! It's just a pop-up menu. Look at that. Thank you, message from Elise. Close Arcus. Send her Elise. Regarding the handkerchief. I see your gift green. It's beautiful and ever so soft to the touch. It's so lovely, in fact, that I'm afraid of getting it dirty. I can't possibly stand to use it, but I will cherish it always. She's funny. It's a handkerchief. It should be used. Well, at least she likes it. Close Arcus. That's neat. Yo, what's up, Pablo? Name's Pablo, second command of both the tech and supply teams, slutty. Wish I didn't have to keep reminding everyone, though. Anyway, jeez, a shout. Uh, jeez, a shout if you got any weapons or armor issues. I'll get you what you need, no bother. Uh, let's that shop. Looks it. I, uh, that, honestly, it's not a bad increase. I'll probably buy them, but I just want to check. Prevents, 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 prevents. Okay. Uh, yeah. Say ya. Say ya. Stark. Shop. Just tell me what you need. Pier Chronicle. I'll buy that. Yep. Let's do that. There's no reason not to buy it. Okay. Strength and shank. Strength and shank. Uh, evasion. Uh, I should probably buy that. And give it to someone. Take care. 
Bob is in charge of weapons. Carry mess and all the goods fall to me. If you need any supplies, just let one of the guys in the military find us. No, we should be able to get just about anything for you. You leave all the back end support to us. Okay, let's see. So there is someone over here. Yo, how's it going, Freddy? Well, well, if it isn't Instructor Reen. I've been meaning to tell you, I got an invitation from Old Man Rod. You know, from North Sudan. Looks like I'm part of the Fisherman's Guild now, too. Just like you, Instructor. Wow, really? Didn't know you were into fishing. Well, technically, I prefer using harpoon. I see. Anyway, Old Man Rod entrusted me with some of the merchandise from his shop. If you can catch any fish you'd like to trade in, just bring them to me. That would be pretty convenient. Thanks, Freddy. You're very welcome. This area is really a gold mine of ingredients. Fish, beasts, insects, wild plants. It's like a Mother Nature's very own silo. Well, I guess Sutherland does have more greenery than leaves. Did, did he just say insects? I do not believe those qualify as food, let him grow ingredients. Right. Well, unlike us, Freddy's, uh, Freddy's got the eyes of a hunter. <laughs> that being said, can you even gather ingredients during field exercises? Nope. That's the problem. Our itinerary is jam-packed. Plus, we've got those bands of salt out field exercises. I'm not going to have much free time. So, Instructor Reen, can I ask you a little favor? Let me guess. Yup, you guys are going to be here, there, and all over Sutherland over the next few days. Let me just cut to the chase. Can you guys gather some ingredients for me? Well, I don't mind if it's not out of the way, but what exactly are you looking for? All right. Well, but there's a ton of bee larvae and plant bits to find around here. Both of them are dropped by beasts. So would you be able to collect three of each for me? Uh, what the heck are plant bits? Did you just say bee larvae? Yes, I've heard they're actually edible. I wonder what they taste like. I don't even want to imagine it. Hmm, I see. All natural ingredients. In a way, this might actually end up worthwhile in the long haul. Alright, sure, we'll keep an eye out for them. You really do get me, Instructor. You have my greatest thanks. Branch Campus Quest, Wild Recipe. Hello. Oh, hello, Yuna. Everyone else, too. I guess your field exercises are finally starting, huh? Yep, let's give it all our best. You're heading to the cooking team, right, Sandy? Guess I'm in charge of both preparing the food and managing the ingredients. But I'll also be helping out the supply and medical teams. Seems military finance has quite a few different duties to perform. Yeah, but given how shorthanded the whole campus is, it's understandable. Oh, by the way, could I ask a little fader review? If you find any nice fruit or vegetable seeds on your travels, could you bring them to me? No, it'll take a while, but I'd like to start filling out the garden back at campus. You got it, Sandy. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, and are you helping with the cooking, too, by any chance, Freddy? That's right, I'm going to put my cooking club skills to work. Since I'm in combat tactics, I'll be on the front lines more, so I can only help out here and there. Oh, no. I've heard unfortunate rumors about Freddy's cooking. I'll keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't put any weird stuff into the food. <laughs> got it. Hey, what are you guys whispering about? Buy Did food you need ingredients. something? Nope. Sell. Please come again. Give seeds. If you find any seedlings, please bring them to me. Plant them in the garden, take care of them. Okay. Okay, let's. Toa, how's it going? You can really tell how nervous everyone is to be doing this. Same time, they're working hard. Nice to see. By the way, someone I want to tell you in your class. What's that? Military finance students will also be playing a role at the field exercise camp. Some will be opening shops, others tasked with gathering information. If there any use, I recommend you work with them. Good to know. We'll be leaning on them before we know. Thank you for informing us. Shops. Ow. What's wrong? Oh, you guys. Uh, um, Wayne and I were taking the pantasol that's out, and apparently a bee had gotten into the cockpit. We tried to swat away. You got stung. Adios, why me? I'm uh, sorry to hear that. It's a fun time for field exercises, individual skill training, various strategy movements, pantasol about training. I've used this opportunity to learn as much as I can. Oh, you guys have out already? Yeah, we need to get permission from whoever's in charge of the area to do shit. Thanks for taking care of that. Turns out, without permission, we can't even train out all the way out here. That side, that class of yours. Special operations, huh? Before you roll out together? <laughs> really takes me back. Randy? Mm. 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 Okay. Good. I can still come on to the train. Uh, unfortunately, I can't fast travel in the train. Been a while since I used something like this. All right, you have combat experience, didn't you, Leo? Yeah, before I came here, I was part of an escort fleet. Escort fleet? They fire off fire to tag merchant ships, right? Yeah, but we got disbanded. Anyway, holding a weapon makes me feel real focused again. Yes, I agree. Keep the good work. This is Sutherland, nearest province in the Empire of the Liberal. Southernmost town is Parham. Oh, but below that is, uh... Where is it, Tita? Um, well, actually, I think the map I had was just a little old. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. 
How's it going, Sydney? I know I might are really fired up. I'm gonna show off too, but I'm not really on the same level as them. Guess I gotta work hard, try not to hurt myself. Duffling across six. Ah, the one from the RMP. Reen students as well. Senior are heading out soon. Please keep an eye on Reen. When you talk like that, you sound like my parent or something. My worker has the unfortunate tendency to shoulder more burns than he should need to bear. And so I feel the need to check up on him to ensure he's still well. well I'll only be with him until Sanark, but understood. So this is Valimar. An idea I could speak so well. What's up, Yuna? Oh, it's nothing. You seem to be doing well. That said, please be careful as you go about your duties. I'll be going now. I think it might be faster to go about this way going through instead of the straight line but through like several doors and other jazz. I see Class 7 is finally out and about. Oh, um, hello. You two are going to be on comms team, right? Yes, but I don't know if I'll do all that well. Well, for now it seems like they're just trying to determine the best assignment for each of us, but still I'm a little sad. I preferred being by your side, Instructor Ian. Uh, hmm. Please don't joke around like that anymore. People are going to get the wrong idea. The instructor has it pretty hard. And the famous Major Claire is with you, too. Being surrounded by such beautiful women all the time. You'll make a girl jealous, Instructor. Hmm? You're a student in military finance, right? Have we... Uh, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat for now. Need to get ready. You know that already. Yep. Take care. Yep. Head on out. Leader comms. Fit in, give best, computers properly manage. Let me know, we'll do. Valerie, you must be on comms. Yes, that's right. Java's observer. Don't worry, hard enough. Let's keep this last part. <laughs> Is it? That's fair. <laughs> um, I'm just checking because I don't want to miss any secret quests. Looking forward to your success. Major Ivel, don't overexert yourself. Yes, understood. I does it feel like he's concerned? Colleagues. Yeah, just colleagues. That's why. Sup? Please, take your time. <laughs> Such a feminine boy. Take care. Boy. Take. Leading the medical team, I have to do the best I can. If you need any medicine, please let me know. Plenty in stock. Okay. Let's head out. Oh, freaking level 11. Damn. Damn, son. Uh, status. Got those. Kaleido Force. I remember that. Perfect order. Four turns, crit plus 30, and accelerate. Damn. That's really good. Let's swap you out for you. Urgh, uh, itchy forehead. <sighs> Look at all the things that I'm going to kill. Alright, looks like there are monsters roaming everywhere. You know this road was familiar? You get to Palmer St. Ark along this highway. Don't know why it took me now until we realize. We're heading north for St. Ark first. Actually, why are there railway tracks going through here? They're especially built for the RMP. They're allowing them to be used for the Academy's field exercises in the event the public railways are unavailable, of course. Ah, so it's a secret railway then. <clears throat> I've used it before for a collaborative mission outside of Erebonia. You collaborated with the RMP? And the Major was a part of it? What kind of missions did you do? Well, many kinds. <laughs> Altina. <laughs> really, me and Altina together are quite the combo. Poor Claire must have had her hands full. Well, this isn't a short walk, so let's start heading north. Watch out for any monsters on the way. Yes, Instructor. About guests. There are times when a character may join your party as a guest. They will come with their own unique crafts as well as powerful orders. Because they'll be part of the story for a limited amount of time, it's best to bow with them while they're available. When you have five or more parties, you can organize by pressing up on the camp menu. Active combatants, reserve combatants, other members who are non-participating. During a character turn, you can swap by pressing right. Okay. Interesting. Wow, what a view! All right. 
fun. It's so relaxing. Uh -huh. This is the way to Parm. Oh, whoops. We're supposed to go the other way. Not a problem. Let's turn around and head. I wanted to explore. everyone okay interesting that Reen and Altina got the same amount of XP might be because she's in the sub thing maybe I don't know you never cease to amaze major <laughs> yeah you were so cool very well glad to hear it Ready. I'm part of the team for now so whatever you need just say the word Okay. Ha! I'm up. Ha! Very well. Yeah, I figure I'm gonna ha! be killing enough of these guys to. Uh... Here I go. Set gunner. Here I go. There. I'm gonna be killing enough of these yeah. guys to get the uh, analysis without Good having work, to everyone. use the uh, thing. Without having used battle scope, so that's why I have chosen. Okay, I will be back then. Yeah, everyone, attack at once! Ha! Ah, I'm up. Sit. It's down. An opening. It's my top. All right. Ah! Nice. We did it! Okay. Ha! There! Commencing battle! Crimson Slash! It's my turn. Yeah! There we go. Here I go! There! My turn! Ha! Perfect. Quick. Is that all? Yeah! I did it! I must train even more. Must train even more. It's powerful. We must take uh, care. Uh, uh. Uh, this one's strong. There we Be go. careful. <laughs> Screw you and your uh Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll do this. She can Use battle scope on you. Yeah. Uh, Rhino Cider, large monster covered in thick hard hide. It's powerful and stubborn. Charge can flip an orbital car. My turn. Crafts. Uh, yeah, they don't have S crafts yet, so mine as well. I'll just do this. Ah, uh, strike. There. There we go. It's mine. It's my turn. And you can use a battle scope on the dog thing, ha! the hyena don. Ooh, there's a chest there. I'm gonna have to get that after battle. Monster that skillfully scavenges for carrion. It prowls the streets for the weakened prey. It prefers All right. crafts cross break. It's my turn. Okay, orders, perfect orders. Everyone, into formation. Ready. Yeah. Now. Yeah, An opening. I'm up. Let's do Kaleido Force. Suppressing targets. Mirror devices in place. I remember this from the uh, from Orbital last laser, game. Fire. It's cool. It's a whole bunch of deflection. 
Mission complete. Mm. May you rest in peace. Get effed. I'm up. Sit. It's down. An opening. My turn. Ah, strike. Behold the Vander style. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Beast Flesh, La Crest. Good, good, good. Ha! I won't go easy. Harrison Slash. Get back! Ready. Yeah. There we go. Let's go. It's my turn. Yeah. Nice. We did it. Beast Flesh. Yeah. I found some treasure. White glasses. Ha! This looks like a Let's fishing go. spot. Come on. Here I go. Ah! They're in disarray. Now's my chance. Mortal Mirage. I'm up. Ha. Now. An opening. Very well. Ha. It's my turn. Yeah. Yes. Ha. Battle complete. Good work, everyone. Good, good, good. Ah. Our chance. Okay. Uh, strike. It's my turn. Uh, it. I'm up. Huh. It's my turn. There. Very well. Huh. Huh. Is that all? Okay. Slowly but surely, getting XP in a lot of places, and that's good. Um. Very well. It's my turn. Yeah. There. Yeah. There Everyone, attack at once. Ah, uh, there. It's mine. I'll end it. Yes. Ha. It's my turn. Sit. Here I go. Yeah. Very well. Ha. Behold the Vander style. Okay. It's getting a whole bunch of ingredients at this point. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. Ha. Ha. Yeah. There we go. Everyone, attack at once. Still haven't figured all of their stuff out. Ah. Uh, yes. Strike. Let's go. Yeah. Here I go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, you know screw it. Battle scope. Yeah. Huh. A dastardly fluff that steals EP and CP from travelers. The spice looks is quite the pest. Ready. Ha. Let's go. Sit. Everyone okay? Yes. Uh, let's. That's the cathedral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, there. <laughs> uh, it's right. my turn. Okay. Crimson Slash. It's my turn. There. Battle complete. Let's proceed. Okay, Reen level 10. Good, good, good. All right, got it. Oh, another Rhino Cider. Ha! Looks like a real tough. It's strong. Please yeah. be extra careful. Screw off, bud. Um... Let's go. Raging fire formation. 
Craft, Rain Slash. Uh, it's mine. Let's go. Uh, you got that. Second form, down. It's my turn. There. Now's our chance. An opening. It's my turn. My turn. Uh, there. It's mine. Ready. Order. Perfect order. Everyone there into we formation. Go. Yes. Just give her a new turn. Huh? Shatter. Now's our chance. And just freeze An this opening. bitch. All right. Nice work. Okay, they leveled up to seven. Good. Yeah, I did it. I must train even more. Stats updated. Yeah, that's how we do it. Treasure located. Golden sphere R. That's pretty good, probably. There. An opening. Ha! Battle complete. Good work, okay. everyone. Oh, that is a fishing spot. It's my turn. It looks like something's moving over there. Are those fish gathering? That's what it looks like to me. This actually looks like a good fishing spot. Oh yeah, I got a fishing rod from Riley. Well, he said he wanted to show me how. To... He said he wanted me to show my students how great fishing is. What better time than now? If you're interested, do you want to try catching some? I've been fishing for a while now, so if you're not sure how, I can teach you. Really? I might just give it a shot. Are we supposed to be relaxing during our field exercises? Good point, but too much work can wear you down. A small break here and there is a good way to refresh your mind. Well, if you say so, then I don't see the problem. So can I try it right now? Fishing too. Other members of Class 7 besides you can catch fish at Fishing Point. Is that the character you want to fish the party leader? You can check each character's fishing results by uh, selecting fishing in the notebook. It's each person. This spot seems excellent for fishing. There. Got a bite. Good. <laughs> nice. Not bad at all. Good. Got a sky gale. There. There. Got a bite. Yes. This is promising. It's a whopper. It's a whopper. Here I go. Uh, there. But you a little one. bit. Good, huh? Got a cart. Got a vital. My turn. Let everyone get a little bit. Everyone, Fair. everyone gets to try. Got one. This is good. Freaking serious, mate. Get yeah, it got away. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Now, how do I equip different fishing rods? Whatever. I'm gonna try again. There. Got one. This is good. Uh, it's a freaking tiny bitch.
Yes, I did it. Yes. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm done with you. Is there anything else I need to check out? Doesn't seem like right it. Right there is the south gate to St. Ark. The clock reads 0650 hours. We should be on time. Perfect. Yeah. We'll end this quick. Dark chain battles. Initiating a with one or multiple enemies close by, resulting in fighting one battle immediately after another, up to three consecutive times. In addition to granting them a tactical bonus, chain battles accumulate experience points only at the end of the last encounter and result in ending more than you would otherwise receive. Nice. Good to know. Uh, right. Right. It's my turn. It's my turn. I keep coming. Let's go. Uh, let's right. go. It's my turn. Yeah, it's my turn. There, nice. We did it. Um, okay, just making sure. Okay, so I'm gonna save right there because it's been a little bit. Ah, oh, interesting. I can, I can fast travel. Nice. Cathedral Square. Seven a.m. Saint Ark, the old capital. This place has such a nice atmosphere, but for a place that's supposed to be chalk white, everything here looks pretty gray. In the Dark Ages, Heimdall was struck by a disaster. The Emperor at the time moved the citizens here and made it the new capital. Back then, this place was a brilliant shade of white. <laughs> you sure know a lot. Of the five big cities in the Empire, this one has just as rich a history as Heimdall. Actually, since Heimdall has been rebuilt before, it may be safe to say this city takes first place for historical buildings. Oh, wow. I was not aware of all that. Hmm. Major? Instructor Claire? Is something wrong? No. I was just thinking how long it's been since my duties last took me here. Marquis Higharm's mansion is located past the cathedral in the back of the Northwestern District. I can guide you there. We'd appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. St. Ark, Noble District. Oh, hello there. Thank you all for coming. It's Patrick's dad, Marquis High Arms. I am Fernand High Arms, the one in charge of the Sutherland Province's well being. It's good to see you again, Reen. It's been some time. I hear you've been taking care of my son, Patrick. It's good to see you again, too. But about Patrick, it's quite the opposite. He's been a good friend and helped me out a number of times. <laughs> I'm sure he would be honored to hear that. Were you aware he's currently helping out in Ordis? Actually, yes. He came with me when I first went to the branch campus. We caught up during the train ride. Oh, and it's good to see you too, Celestin. Indeed, Master Reen. Hello. I'm a butler of the highest caliber. I returned to St. Ark last year, leaving Master Patrick at the school. But it seems he grew up wonderfully in my absence. I can't thank you and his other classmates enough, Master Reen. <laughs> really, I didn't do much. Let me introduce the students of Class 7 Special Operations. P pleased to meet you. I'm Yuna Crawford. I'm Kurt Vander. It's a pleasure to meet you. Altino Orion, nice to meet you. Ah, so this is the new Class 7. I wasn't expecting to find a son of the Vander family here. 
I'm indebted to your father. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Thank you for your kind words. Now, Major Revel, would you mind if I saw to Reen's business here first? Not at all. I would actually like to hear the details myself. Would it be okay if I stayed and listened? That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly Marcus fine. Hirams, we're here to report that we, the Thor's Military Academy branch campus, have begun our field exercises in Sutherland. Understood. I expect great things from you. Requests, if you would, Celestin. Yes. Yes. Please, take this. Received a list of special ops mission requests attached to the user documents was an additional form titled a Crucial Investigation Report. This is a Crucial Investigation Report. This is a report regarding the many different sightings of suspicious monsters across the Sutherland Province. Investigation task. Suspicious monsters. Your Excellency, this is... Over the past few days, there have been many reports of these monsters in the Sutherland Province. The most frequent sightings have been in the vicinity of St. Ark and Parm to the southwest. I'd like you to look into these monsters and discover their true nature. Their true nature? If the issue is crucial, I take you don't think these are just any monsters. Indeed, according to the reports, they are monsters made of metallic parts. That's... are you certain? There's a possibility the person who saw is simply mistaken. However, there are other reports that mention the sound of grinding gears. We had the Provincial Army investigate these reports, but we've not yet been able to confirm them. Since the Civil War, the Provincial Armies have been downsized considerably. To be, prefer to be perfectly honest, our investigation is not as thorough as it would be otherwise. Are the Provincial Armies dwindling? I don't really get any of that stuff, but we just need to go find those weird monsters, right? Seems like these things are causing problems for a lot of people, so we gotta do something. Yes, you're exactly right. Understood. We'll do this in addition to the other requests. I appreciate it. Class 7 Special Operations, I wish you good luck with your exercises in Sutherland. I need to go talk to the Marquis now, so we'll be parting ways here. Regarding what we talked about, I'll let the RMP and the Intelligence Division know. I'll contact you if there's any more info. That'd be great, thanks. Ideally, we would like to have accurate information. What's going on here? Green, Yuna, Altina, and Kurt. Please be careful. I'll be praying for your field exercises to turn out well. Thank you. Thanks, Claire. We'll see you again soon. I felt like there was a whole nother conversation going on there. So what must we do besides investigate these beasts? It seems we have a number of requests. Yeah, I'll explain how this will work. Look at this here, everyone. These are the requests for the first day of our Sutherland Field Exercises. Herb Helper. Crunch our stock of healing supplies. Monster going violent. Be able to help us. Red Perch Search. I'd like to cook something special for my lady's birthday. Need to get some help getting ingredients. Come see me for more details. I'll be weighing in a mansion in the southwest part of the Noble District. Wonderful, wonderful cat. While my grandfather and I were traveling together, we lost the little kitten we had with us. Anyone willing to help reunite us with him? Please come see me at the April Cafe Inn. Prepare to die. I'm looking for some mirror materials to make dyes for my cloth, and I'd like to find them as soon as possible. If you're willing to help, please talk to Reggie at the manager's house in Parm. These are errands unrelated to military services. Yeah, requests made by citizens and the cathedral. The ones marked required, we need to do for sure. But anything marked optional, we can choose whether or not we do it. Either way, we should still be sure to patrol St. Ark and check everything out. Finally, here are the details in the investigation report. This is a report regarding the many different sightings and suspicious monsters across the Sutherland Province. The exact details are unknown, but the reports contain sightings of monster made of metallic parts and sounds like grinding gears. These monsters have been reported in three different places. Northwest of St. Ark, 50 Selich on the north of Sutherland Highway, 50 Selich to the east of Parm, 50 Selich to the south of Parm. Please investigate these three locations. We can investigate the first location while we're out here in St. Ark, and once we finish our other quests, we can move south to Parm. Then we can investigate the second and third locations while we do our request there. That'll be how our first day will go. That seems a little intense. Our schedule will be most assuredly packed. All in all, how many tasks will we need to see to? We've got our acquired quests, as well as the crucial investigation. But for the optional quests, I'll let the three of you decide. I'm just here to supervise you guys, so talk it over amongst yourselves and decide if you want to do them or not. I see, so that's how these will be conducted. 
the tests aren't required, do we really need to do them? Of course we do. These people need our help. We can't just ignore them. It's not even 8 a.m. yet, so we still have plenty of time. We should do as much as we can, right? I have no objections to that, but time isn't the only factor. We also need to consider our fatigue throughout the day. We shouldn't assume we'll have the energy to accomplish anything. Everything. I'm fine with either option. I'll let you two decide. Hey, that's not allowed. If she's right, you need to tell us your opinion. Yeah. Bros. Yeah. Yeah. Fee and Laura. Woo. Well, you, well, you all can keep discussing as we go. Class 7 Special Ops will now begin its assigned tasks. Let's give it everything we've got and head back to camp at the end of the day with a good report. Well, duh. I plan to give it my all regardless. Mission start. Mission start. Da. Obtain crucial investigation report. You can check a request anytime from the quest tab of your notebook. Crucial investigation report can be viewed from the event tab of the item menu. Okay. So, this is where I'm going to call the stream. Because, uh... I'd say that's just a good point to stop. So, with that, I hope you all have a very nice day, and will join me tomorrow when I stream some more, hopefully. Bye!